All right, so the one we are once again, you know, wicked, wicked old San Francisco. All right. First off, we want to start by giving, uh, giving all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Rakhak Kodesh. The water to our apostle elders of Great Millstone. I'm just a salutation to you, brothers, for preaching His word and sincerity and faith. Shalom to you, sincere followers. Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-five. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Yeah, because the time that we're uh, that we're that we're entering into, you know, the time of uh, the escalation of the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, all chaos uh, breaking breaking forth. You know, they're already pressing this narrative of the second wave sooner and sooner than uh, than they speculated. You know, so people was uh, they were talking about a fall or, or a winter second wave. Nobody nobody uh, imagined. It would happen like roughly what uh, a couple a couple of weeks after they started um, um, easing easing yeah, the measures, yeah. man. You know now now Esau is about to uh, lock it completely down, man. And people about to suffer way more than you thought that you were suffering. All right. Yet for us, man, it's going to take a heavy a uh, heavy amount of faith and trust the Yahweh Yahweh Shai for the times that we're entering into and, and, and um, to get through it all, man. You know. Go ahead. It says nor yet for your body. What you should put on. Yeah, so we're not to be worrying like these people, you know, oh, where, where I'm gonna get my next meal or how, how, I'm, gonna, how I'm gonna make it here or there, what I'm gonna do pretty much, man. We, we were already instructed on what to do, you know? Preaching this word uh, 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 and putting our faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? The Lord, the Lord is gonna take care of the rest, you know? It's not the life more than meat and the body than the remnant. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not Neither do they reap. Yeah, that's right, man. You don't see these animals. You don't see these animals bugging out. You know, you just see people acting like brute beasts. You know, bugging these birds. All right, they're not. They're not. Uh, they don't worry about where they get their next meal, where they gonna lay their head, the next nest that. You know. Hey, man. They're they uh, uh. Hey, they just they just go with the flow, man. You know. Go ahead. Yeah. It's the same Matthew 10 and 29. It says, "Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing?" And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Yeah, that's right, man. We're, we're uh, the most the most valuable when the more is highest to elect. That's why from the apostle letters on down, we continue to stress about uh, about the elect, that remnant, you know, the, uh, the one third. That's what it's all about. The Lord, the Lord is not even uh, uh, is, is concerned with the two thirds of Israel. And that's why they're getting what they're getting they're about to receive now, man. You know? Uh, as far as the Lord's uh, precious jewels, the elect, all right? The Lord likens us to, uh, uh, to gold, to silver, you know? We're precious in the, in the sight of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, so if the Lord takes care of uh, uh, the animals, how much more uh, his servants, you know? Go ahead, brother. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Yeah, that's right. They don't They don't sow. They don't go out there plant seeds and, and, and nourishing it, you know, and trying to uh, gather into them crop or store up food, man. You know, yet they're always, the Lord makes sure that they're fed. All right? Go ahead. Are ye not much better than they? Yep. He says, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take, and why take ye thought for the remnant Consider, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed by one of these. Where, it said, Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe ye, O ye of little faith? Yeah, that's right, man. And we're not supposed to be searching out more, more than what we uh, than we require, man. The Lord said that you contend with uh, with food and raiment, uh, raiment, you know. All right. If I may add, yeah. Uh, the scripture says, "Seek ye first the kingdom, and all these things shall be added unto you." That's right. It says, "Therefore," uh, verse thirty-one, Matthew six and thirty-one. Therefore, take no thought, saying, "What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or whither, or whither, or where with them." Shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Yeah, that's right, man. That's what the uh, the heathens think about, cause they're carnal. 
They're not spiritual, you know. All right, go ahead. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things, but seek ye first the king. Well, really, as well as the two thirds. Yeah. Very yeah. heathenistic mindset. Yeah. And that's basically what you're going into. This uh, things about to go down, and the elect are going to have faith that Yahweh is going to shine. It's going to bring us through these things, even though these things might not be tangible right in front of us. We can't see it. We, don't, we can't see it. Yeah, that's where the faith comes in. But two thirds of our people, what are they going to do? They're, 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 uh, they're not, their faith is not built up. They don't have faith in this. They don't have faith that Yahweh Shai said that he was going to deliver his elect, the ones that serve him. So what are they going to do? They're going to, they're going to depend on who? Esau. They're going to go, uh, you know, they're going to be crying to, to the government, you know, for yep. different programs, food programs, you know, housing programs, for giving me up my rent, you know, uh, help me with my credit cards. My, my, my child, my baby is starving. You've seen remnants of that. During this lockdown, you know, people on social media bugging out, the black woman bugging out, how she gonna feed her kids, this and that, that and this, because all these things are getting shut down. Well, uh, the scriptures are saying that all these things are gonna get shut down, right? And then the Lord is going, what? He's gonna deliver you through all these different trials and tribulations that we're entering into, and we're about to enter into that biggest trial and tribulation, which is the hour of temptation. Which that's why we go through the things that we go through to prepare our minds for for the uh, basically game day. Cause that's where the whole world is gonna get tempted, and it's gonna you're gonna get tempted. It's gonna actually be temptation. You say, "Oh, I ain't gonna take the chip." This and that. You gonna actually be tempted uh, because that's what was written, all right? And that's gonna separate the the, the ones who believe in Yahweh Shemashai to those who don't believe in Yahweh Shemashai, and those who go into that temptation and get tempted and, and, and worship the beast and take his mark and, and you know worship the image, they're gonna be destroyed, okay? And they're the ones that are gonna be starving. They're the ones who are going to uh, and ultimately get destroyed by the nuclear missiles. Good. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, that's right. Like the brother was uh, was just speaking about, man. You know, we don't we don't see these things, man. And that's that's where uh, faith comes in. The Lord the Lord say He's going to do something. The Lord is not a man that He no, shall lie, no. man. You know? And that that requires uh, a huge amount of, of faith. To, uh, to believe in, man. Yet, yet faith is a gift as well. Something that two thirds of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, don't have. You have faith in the society. You have faith in Esau. You know, you have faith in, in, in this world. You know, the things that you can see. All right. Yet your faith is not towards Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. Go ahead. You want to read on? Yeah, yeah. Verse two says, "For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High." So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, the Most High testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaking. Yeah, that's right, man. And, and Cain, Cain and Abel came back and sued him. Jacob and Esau, Jacob and Esau, man. By faith, Enoch was translated, so he should not see death. That's how I left him doing it, you know? But that's going to be the part of the second death. The most high about the they're going to be translated. It says uh, Enoch, it says Jehoshad, it says Elijah. It will be taken up from the chariot. They have, like, by faith. Yeah, and it says in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, it's going to be uh, in, the sight of, in the sight of our enemies, man. You know? Everybody, hey, every eye is going to see the return of Yahweh Shai. And, and, and everybody's going to see the uh, the beaming up of the elect. You know, see that, but it's all. It says, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, but was not found because the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had his testim this testimony that he pleased the Most High. And we have the, se we have the testimony. Matter of fact, we bring that out. Uh, we have the testimony of, of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Revelation 19 and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. And that's something that, that we absolutely that make us uh, different from these other camps and from, uh, from, the, rest of our, uh, from the rest of our nation, man. 
be infiltrated and it cannot be dismantled, man. Right, right. You know, you, uh, just during during the time I believe what uh, Nehemiah, you know, when they uh, rebuilding rebuilding yeah. the temple, you know, you had the heathens try to come up uh, come up against us, man. All right, but you can't you can't you can't do that this time. They wanted man. to they wanted to join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They see see these other nations. Yep. He saw they see what's going on, and as we progress further, uh, closer to the kingdom of heaven. They're gonna see uh, the Mo most High is gonna make it evident who, who his men are. Okay, what are they gonna do? They're gonna to try to cleave unto the house of Jacob. Oh, you know, um, you know, we, you know, I, I, I believe in the Most High too. You know, brother, brother, yeah, brother, brother. You know, they're gonna to try to, they're gonna to try to join themselves unto us, just like they tried to do back uh, during the time of Nehemiah. And then what did they, what did they do? They cursed them out like, nah, you had nothing to do. You, you, you have nothing to do with this building. And then what do they do? They start to hinder. You know, just like just like vocab alone, just like vocab alone. It's yep. the same thing. It's the same thing happening all over again. Yep. You know, to come in, spy out what's going on, try to try to infiltrate. You know, see see uh you know try to get a blessing, demonize it when uh yeah. yep. when you can't join exactly, and then demonize it when you can't. That's join. what they did. Uh, you know, uh, was it Sambalat and the other dude? They went to the, the king, yep. Yep. the Persian king, and they started uh you know bringing the false one. Mm -hmm. These guys. You know, like they're trying to rebuild their yep, temple. Yep. They're gonna, gonna take rebel. you over. Yep. Yep. They you know, they're gonna worship their God. Yep. You know, it's the same story that's been happening. Right. These other nations, when when they see see here it is, we the we the lowest people out there. They talk nothing but cash money shit about us. But then one day, when the Lord He's gonna start elevating us, and all these things gonna start befalling them, the curses gonna start hitting their ass. They gonna get evicted from their house. You know, that woman gonna leave them. The child gonna die of the COVID. You know, and then what are they gonna? They're gonna try to run to the prophets, and we gonna say, "Hey, man, look, just, just wait for the nuclear missile." Okay. And then what are they gonna do? They're gonna try to hinder. They're gonna talk all type of shit. They gonna tell the government. You know. <laughs> that, that that's what was that's what they did last time. Yep. The same thing, same rules apply. So all you heathen nations, look, your future is slavery. Right. Okay. We are we're also prophets unto the nations, so we're telling the the, the nations. You know what, what? How they fit in the in the jig in the in the, in the puzzle of, of what's going on, and, and, and their fit, their their place is under us. Right. Okay. Just as it speaks about Genesis 27 chapter. Okay. About the birthright. Okay. And the blessings. Well, what? To, to we were going to have nations bow down to us. It's not happening now, but it's, but this is the prelude. Right. Okay. The Lord's building that that government now. Okay. And then it's going to manifest in the kingdom of heaven. But these other nations, they're going to see, or like the, the Iranians, you know, they try to, uh, they try to, you know, they, they did that thing with the Hebrew Israelites, you know. Um, I, I believe it was like last year where they uh, try to say uh, they were, I forget exactly what it was, brothers remember, where they uh, wrote a letter to a church. They wrote a letter to a church saying that they were the Hebrew Israelites, basically. And they wanted to speak oh, yeah, with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was like a year, two years yep, ago, yep. something like that. But that's what these other nations are going to do when they start seeing that judgment come. You know, they're going to try to be friendly with Jake. Yep. You know? All right. Oh, yeah. Peace uh, uh, John 4, verse 22. It says, Ye worship ye know not what. It's like, I'm going to read it again. Uh, John 4, verse 22. It says, Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. That's right, salvation. You got it, brother. You got it. Yeah. That was the Lord talking to the. Uh, She was the evil man. Alright? The Lord said you don't know what you worship because the same way. Because they have moved in, uh, they have moved into that land when the Lord kicked out uh, kicked out the north. Alright, took upon took upon uh, our heritage, alright? And tried to tried to be uh tried to be uh, uh Israelites pretty much, man. Alright, so the Lord was cursing that woman out. Colossian Jews. Yep, Colossian the water, Colossian Jews, man. Alright? This ain't, this ain't for no other nation uh, other than uh, uh, the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hell, this ain't even really for two-thirds of our people on this uh, side, man. You know, this, for the yeah, this is only for the elect. You know, these scriptures were written, with, like Jake say, by the elect for the elect, man. You know? Yeah. Continue on verse 23, it says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. That's right, man. That's, that's what we're doing from our apostle elders on down. We worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth, man. All right? Something that these other camps are not doing. They're worshiping another spirit. They're worshiping uh, another power, man. 
All right, they're coming in another name and another spirit. Ultimately, the spirit of, uh, of the spiritual demon Satan. Yep. Yep. The, spirit the spirit of, the spirit of, of this world. world. Yep. The spirit. Yep. Yep. It says, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. That's right, man. That's right. You get those two worshipers, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it's, uh, and, and as we get closer, like I'll say it earlier, the true worshipers are going to be identified. Right. Okay. And they're going to be identified to a point where it's going to be no, it's going to be no, uh, you know, a private inter it's gonna be no interpretation if these are the true worshippers or not. Where it says, then shall you know who who, uh, who the prophets are. Yeah. So you're gonna know, you're gonna actually know, you're gonna know who the prophets are, okay? Because they're gonna be standing firm, mentally stable, okay, and, and they're gonna have a hedge of protection around them. Super a supernatural hedge of protection. Right. Okay, as well as other certain brothers gonna have spiritual powers. Yeah. Okay, uh, 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 a main uh, power they're gonna have is the power to heal. Okay. That's going and that's going to uh, bring great uh, pain to Yahweh Bashman Shah's name, and that's going to be an indicator that that man is a man of the Lord. Okay, because Esau, he's going to try to come with his 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 uh you know left-handed side yeah. miracles, but that's going to what he wants to you want to uh, put a, a fucking microchip in your body. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a goddamn cyborg. Are right, you going to have to have VR glasses? Esau will literally allow you to see, but you got to have fucking VR glasses, and then he's going to virtually morph <laughs> pixels and shit. Say, see, look, we make the blind see. No, that's not gonna happen like that. Uh, with, with the middle Lord, they healed somebody that, that was blind, and they're gonna be able to see. Okay, that 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 happened in the past, and y'all said that was something that we was gonna do. Okay, certain men. Okay, in these in these last days, and greater things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so how much more all the great things we read in the scriptures? If the Lord said, y'all said we are gonna do greater things than that. So it's gonna get wild out here, man. All right, we're, we're, which we gonna actually need those powers. Yeah. That's how wild we're gonna get when we gonna actually need powers to be able to maneuver. Okay, go ahead. So Jeremiah 5 and 5, it says, I will get me unto the great men and will speak unto them, for they have known the way of Yahweh and the judgment of their power, but these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. Yeah, that's right, man. You're talking about uh, the elect, man. All right. Our, uh, from our apostle elders on down, we, we, we humbly uh, uh, said that we uh, uh, we believe ourselves to be of the hopeful elect. Because when you do a, a compare and contrast in the scriptures in these different camps, who's who's uh, fulfilling the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You know, all right. These other camps are not they're not uh, they're not diligent. They're not going they're not going into uh, into uh, uh, everything. Yep. All right, a hundred percent true. Hell, they're not confident in what they say. They speak in man, and they gotta respect the persons. Yep. So. The yep. scriptures tell you, you know, you ain't supposed to have respected persons in judgment. They don't want, you know, pretty, they don't want no kind of controversy, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't want to be known for that. You know, they don't want to be, oh, this, this, they, they'll curse you out. You know, oh, somebody do something, we ain't saying shit. You're supposed to call out wickedness, man. Right. The scriptures tell you, you're supposed to rebuke your neighbor. And that's one reason why these other camps don't like GMS, man. We see some wickedness going on, we're gonna call it out. As commanded by Yahweh Shimmy Hawashai. You other dudes, you ain't doing that, so who are you really worshiping, man? Then your doctrine is off. Yep, yep. You ain't you ain't you don't wanna bring uh, uh speak about the mark of the beast. But that's the, the, the top prophecy right now, man. This whole lockdown is another step towards that that mark of the beast, the, the microchip, man. But you got some dudes out there they say it's embargo, it's just sleeping with white women. It's Christianity now. The, the the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, man. You, you just because you got a white woman, Esau ain't gonna take her as payment, man. Oh, see, I got a white woman. <laughs> Let me buy and sell. You know, see, see, I got, I got one. I got one. I got two. You know, <laughs> so I get a discount. I got two of them. You know, you you the, the, his whole uh, agenda, the agenda of the elites is to have complete control over you, man. They want to know what you're doing at all times. You know, they want to have records of everything that you do. You can lie and say, you got you, this your woman. Yeah. You know? And then what you going to pay with? You going to pay with cash, which the nigga can't track? No, he wants to have complete control over you, man. So he's, what is he going to do? He's going to institute that, that digital currency, man. Which if you did any kind of research on the blockchain, if you tie somebody's ID to it, you're done. You know, they, whoever, whoever has control over that blockchain, 
they know your identity, that's that's like the worst setup you can have, man. Once your identity's tied to it, you know who, who whose wallet, who, who the wallet belongs to, you know uh, uh, who they sending money to, you know everything. It's all it's all on the on the ledger, man. It's all on the blockchain. Every single transaction made, you know. When Bitcoin first came out, you could go all the way back to the first transaction and look up who sent what, man. And that's the kind of uh, 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 system that this man wants to institute. Total control. Yep. Then what are you gonna do? If he don't authorize the transaction, you can't. You you ain't you ain't getting your goods, man. If you're going against him, he gonna shut your old, your uh, uh, wallet down on the blockchain. They show you that in that movie, uh, the new one that came out with uh, uh, Michael B. Jordan at Fahrenheit 451. When somebody was caught reading books, they erased their identity, man. They burned their fingertips off. They could, the, the, the way they identify people was what they, they fingerprints, biometrics. So if you was caught doing something going against the government, they would, they would erase your identity, man. So you couldn't do shit. You couldn't have no business, you couldn't have no, uh, uh, you couldn't have no apartment, no house, no car. You was through, you was ostracized, man, and by yourself. Yep. And that's the kind of society that this man wants to set up. You have complete control over you, man. So how can the market of the beast be anything outside of the RFID microchip? Well, you had uh, one dude say that the RFID microchip can't be used to buy and sell, man. You can't buy and sell with that. You know, that ain't the, that ain't, that ain't the mark of the beast world. That's been proven wrong, man. People have, have put their, their Bitcoin wallet inside the, the chip and they buying and selling with it. Man, well, what was that one place? Uh, Three Square Market. They literally got the chip uh, injected into them so they could make purchases at, at their job, man. So all signs lead to, you know, the, the, the revelation that was given to the, uh, the Apostle Har about the RFID microchip being the market of the beast, man. And if you ain't teaching that, you're either ignorant or you sold out. But you can't be ignorant because we bring it out all, all the time, man. That's one of the main topics that we go into. You know, we like a broken record when it comes to the, the, the market of the beast. You got it? Yeah, that's right. You know, that's, that's the time that's the time that we're in, man. All right, and hey, as 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 more as more this this devil rolls out that uh, that agenda, you're gonna see the uh, the microchip people people get. Uh, it's gonna start off as a convenient thing, a willing thing. See who, who wants to do it, yep. you know. And then, hey, just like he did with this lockdown shit, mm -hmm. he was advising you you should you should probably want to stay inside or stay away or social distance and wear a mask. And then what? He just started to enforce it, man. And if you don't do this, you're gonna be fine. You can be jailed. Yep, you know, yep. draconian measures. Yeah, draconian measures. That's how this devil gets down, man. So how much more when it comes to this, uh, the market of beast, which is hard for the market to uh, press out, man. Yeah. Habakkuk 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, that the end shall speak and not lie. Yeah, we're, we're clearly at the end, man. All right, there's, there, everything is at an unprecedented level, you know. There's so much science being shown. All right, we're held. I believe tomorrow evening there's going to be a a, a, a a lunar eclipse, you know, in a full moon. A buck moon. A buck moon. A buck moon. <laughs> that's a that's a sign. That's a hell of a sign. Hell, just a uh, what a couple weeks ago they had the solar eclipse, man. Them signs, them signs been been increasing, man. They've been calculated. Yeah, a lot has been has been transpiring on Earth, man. You know. Well, yeah, uh, all the signs, especially. I remember 2019, it was hella different, yeah, different, you know, brothers was doing, uh, I know you did a lot of those uh, videos with the different moons, the different lunar moons, the blood moons, the wolf moons, yeah, you got the fire moons, the pink moons, you know, you have all these different type of moons, and uh, what what happened in 2020? All these different events start happening. Yep, yep, yep. Well, there was a scare, well, 2000, uh, early uh, January, I believe January 2020, yep. people thought it was World War III was about to break yep, off. Yep, yep. And nobody nobody even talks about that no more. Nope. But those are just, you know, the most high just hitting you with a little theme and he'll pull it back. Mm -hmm. Just like the, the lockdown, he hit you with the lockdown, shake you up, yep. see if you're gonna get it, get, get, you know, get your mind right. You know, these are these are all warnings. Well the scriptures say in this in the book of Ezra that these are uh what do they they call them? Uh scourges for amendment. Scourges yep. for amendment. Right. Okay. Uh, really a amendment to what? The amendment to change your way. That's really going to Jake to see these things. But look, you you don't have where Jake at? You don't have Jake out here. You don't have Jake out here listening. 
Okay. What is Jay doing? Jay looking for the next party. Jay looking for the next, uh, uh, you know, boozy live show, whatever, whatever that's on social media and shit. You know. Next challenge, though. Whatever. Yeah, the next challenge, the the cayenne pepper challenge. <laughs> you know, the plank challenge. You got something, brother? No, I got it. Three, three, go ahead. It's uh, Ezekiel 33 and 31, and they they and they come unto thee as the people cometh. Okay, yeah, 30, 30, yeah. Yeah, Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying. They will, that, that proves that Jake knows about the Israelites. Everybody. Yeah. Every, everybody knows about the Israelites. My dad called me about the Israelites. <laughs> <laughs> he talked, he talked, he talked. He, talk, he, 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 I'm like. I'm all like, oh my goodness, you, here we go. I was telling you about this years back, but now, but that's the spirit. Why? Because the Lord, he's going, he's literally pushing out that, that spirit out there. Why? So you don't have no excuse. You don't have no excuse. And that's why the Lord, he has to come out here week after week, okay, month after month, year after year, and we singing the same song. We have not changed the song. If anything, we, we getting more aggressive with the song. We're singing the song even louder, if anything. Okay, telling you that, hey, look, we're closer to this man locking out every fucking thing. Okay, draconian law, martial law, and we saw remnants of that. You people have never experienced military in the fucking streets. Yeah. A couple weeks back, there was military in the fucking streets. Okay? But that, that didn't scare Jake. That, 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 didn't, that didn't wake Jake up. That didn't, oh, shit. Some, they, they were, what, what they were saying, it, 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 possibly, it can at least possibly be true. But as the scripture saying in Isaiah, the first chapter, they, my people don't even consider. Yep, yep, yep. So it's going to hit the, the so-called black, Latino, and Native American man. It's going to literally hit their ass as a thief in the night. Yep. When all these things are actually happening right before your fucking eyes, but you can't see it, but we're not, we're not mad because that's the angel that's blocking you. But we're still going to tell you about it because the elect have to be drawn into this. So we're only here for the elect. And you know, we're gonna we're gonna curse you two-thirds out, because when the judgment comes, they're gonna like, did you did, did I tell you to clean the room? You heard me say that, right? So now now the judgment time. Yeah. Well and if we don't tell them then their blood is on our hands. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 15 to 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sinned, but now they have no cloak for their yeah, sin. They don't have no cloak for their yeah. sin now. When Yahweh Shai came, okay? Y'all shy basically uh he came to bring us back to the father. Because Jake was told they, they didn't know who they were. They, Jake knew where they were at that point. But you had a, a large remnant of our people that forgot who they were. Now let's fast forward into this time. The majority of these people don't know who the hell they are. They literally don't. You ask the so-called black man what's their nationality, ask a hundred black men, they you gonna get you literally gonna get a hundred different answers. That's how destroyed you are. But Jake does not consider that. So the Lord, he came back to basically, there is no excuse now, okay? You don't have excuse, I, I didn't know. You didn't, because there is a law in the scriptures, the law of ignorance. Okay. So you, you can't, you, you're not ignorant to this now. You're privy, okay? This is not a private thing no more. Okay, the Lord said he sold his servant, he sold his secret to his servant, the prophets. So he put the secrets into the prophets, and then what did the Lord tell, uh, he said, what I tell you is secret, yeah. that, that shall you uh, say in, uh, yeah, in, rooftops. in the rooftops. Okay, you gonna get that? Yeah, we'll I was thinking it. about that scripture in the Matthew, like eleven. Matthew, or Matthew uh, 10, 10 or eleven. Yeah. If you can find that. Uh, so where do men come from? You say Jesus is a Negro, not a white man. So where do men come from? Man, man comes from the earth. Right, no, but where he come from? What do you mean? Who? You say Jesus is not a Negro. Not no, a no, 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 no. It says uh, Jesus is a Negro. Not a white man. Okay, so what? So what? Where did he come from? He's he's a so-called black man. Huh? He's a so-called G G so-called so Jesus. Where did man come from? I just told you he come from the earth. Yeah, okay, okay so the, what spirit, did God say? the spirit. What did the spirit. God, God said spirit. I came down. He said I made man in my image. He said I made man in my image. So, so you already know the question. No, I'm just. You already saying. know the answer. You, no, are you gonna let me ask answer? you? I'm trying are to. Are you gonna allow me to explain it? Yeah, explain. It, okay, thank you. Uh, can you? Well, let's just let's just get it. No, you know, you don't have to get it. Man came from the heavens. The spirit of man came from the heavens, but we come, our flesh comes from the earth. Yeah. All right? That, 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 would that work? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the lesson. Yeah, the same Matthew 10, in, uh, verse, let me 
start at? Verse 26. We'll start 25. It says, It is enough for the disciple that that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they call the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of, the, of his household? Yeah, so how much more are they going to look at us in a, in a derogatory way? They're going to call us all type of names. And that's what the brother's reading. That's what, they, that's what they're doing. Yep, yep. That, that, that's linking up right there in the spirit. That, that's what they're doing. They're talking to, They're talking about the Israelites. Yep. You don't think these uh, so-called black uh, uh, and Hispanic uh, celebrities, you think they don't talk about the Israelites? Or you don't think they talk about, talk shit? Yep, yep. You, don't, you don't think they watch videos and curse, and curse Jake out? You know, uh, send these videos, you know, yeah, different sure. message apps, you know? Oh, look, look, look at this, look at that, look at this, you know? Making memes out of our culture, out of, out of their heritage. Yeah, see? see that right here. And, and, and telling see that and, right here. See them two brothers right there. And telling, uh, telling, telling see Esau color. on us too. He will see color. Okay. That's how I made man in my image. When he came down, all right, now, he made brother. us all as one. All right, now. Yeah, verse okay. uh, 26. Right, oh, You're right. You're right, brother. Fear them not, therefore, for no, there is right, nothing that covered the that word. shall not be revealed. The There's nothing covered, okay, that shall not be revealed. That's what Jake is done. Yeah. Jake is totally destroyed. Yeah. Okay, so when Jake start getting put to death on an all time, like, don't feel sorry for no nigga, man. You think I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna shed one tear for a fucking nigga? You must be out of your mind. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be praising y'all about Shamal Shai. Okay, because you niggas deserve every last inch of pain that you're gonna get. What the scriptures say, death by pain. So, cause, cause you try to tell Jake, Jake don't want to hear. Look, Jake don't want to hear what you gotta say. They already had an answer. They yeah. got it already. A nigga could be on it. He's doing bad. Put it like that. Y'all yeah. didn't see what he was doing super <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, every brother here was doing way better than men. Okay, but he got it. All right, he looked like he was homeless, on drugs, all that. But he got, he 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 got the breakdown. Okay. But what are you telling? Me? Well, can you read that again? He says, "Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed." There's nothing covered that shall not be revealed. So yeah, the name has been revealed. Who, uh, the, uh, where we came from has been revealed, okay? It's like the image of the Lord has been revealed. There the you go. The there you chapter. go. Everything's been revealed. Well, Revelation. Revelation. Yeah, Revelation. The book of Revelation. Hey, just, brother, you can jump in. He's yeah, yeah, You can jump, jump in right. anytime, you know what I mean? Okay. It's yours, you know, it's lot. You know, you know, so. Uh, and it says, in hid that shall not be known. That anything that's hid that shall not be known. Oh, oh, the Illuminati. Right. They, 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 the bankers, okay? Esau, Edom himself. Yep. Who is the wicked? The wicked have been revealed. Yep, yep, yep. That's why we know who's doing all these things in the planet Earth. Because the wicked has been revealed. It's the so-called white race. Okay, starting with the uh, the wicked elite bankers, yep. which are nothing but witches and warlocks, which, which which are nothing which are doing nothing but casting spells all all around the world. Right now, as we speak, they cast they casting all type of spells. Yeah. All all this imagery that you're seeing, that's a spell. Okay, Adidas that you got the pyramids. Okay, a uh, Nike that goes back to. Uh, Roman gods, yep, yep. everything goes back to some type of Greek or Roman god, some type of mythology, some type of uh, custom of the ancient deity. Okay, that's what Babylon was founded on. It was created on witchcraft, man. It was founded on that. It wasn't created in the, in the, in the image. Of, it wasn't created by the Most High. Uh, 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 it wasn't. I would say it wasn't. Uh, you know, founded by the Most High principles. Okay, the Most High was with it. No, he wasn't with this place. Okay, the Lord, and that's why the Lord is destroying this place. All right, right before your eyes, locked down, and you expect the second wave to be fucking crazy. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. He gonna lock you niggas down in the second wave. All right, and then he gonna and then he gonna tell you, and then he gonna get, force you to get a vaccination because uh -huh. you're predisposed to these different uh, to the COVID. And what does niggas do? Niggas is dancing. Niggas is singing. Niggas is playing games. Okay, niggas on the block. Don't even know what the hell is going on. Don't even know Esau's preparing to roll on your ass. And he showed, he showed you remnants of that. All right? He showed you remnants of that when he had, when he had the military out here. Okay, deep. Deep with assault rifles. Okay? But they had a what? They had a stay away order. They had a fall back order. They didn't shoot nobody. Okay, nothing that was uh, actually pushed out. Could have been some skirmishes. But they were like, oh, we just going to, it's not the time. It's not time yet. The Lord hasn't released Esau yet on you niggas. But the Lord will release Esau on you niggas, okay? But it said that the devil, he knew he had a short time. He gonna, he gonna, come, he gonna come in. And we see this, this, this damn devil coming in. This nick, this niggar. 
verse 27. What I tell you in darkness. What I tell you in darkness. Because this was a secret. Okay, the spirit revealed. But what I tell you in darkness, go ahead. Let speak ye in light. Speak ye in light. Are we not in the light? It said, let your light shine before men. Are we not shining our, shine, shining our light? But see, this world is in outer darkness. So here it is. You've been living in outer darkness. Your, your eyes are adapted to the dark. Okay? It's like John 3rd chapter, middle of darkness rather than there light. You go. So when the light comes on you, like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta turn around. I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at the light. It's too, it's blinding me. I'm cool. I'm cool where I'm at. And that's where Jake, that's where Jake, when I say Jake, you this like, that's where you you feel that you got it already. God knows your heart. Okay? God knows your heart that is wicked. Yep, yep. That's what he do know. It says, when I tell you in darkness that speak ye in light. And what you hear in the ear, yep. that preach ye upon the housetops. Are we not on the housetops? We're, this is spiritually the housetop. You'll get on the housetop to, to, to be able to speak to a multitude of people and everybody hear you. Okay, almost like an amphitheater. Yep, yep. Okay, like an amphitheater effect. Okay, you on a house, you on a house, like somebody on a house speaking? Like, man, <laughs> you know, it gotta be important. Yeah. But see, Jay doesn't look at this as important, but watch, just wait. Until shit really start going down, they're gonna be looking for Jig, they're gonna be searching for the Israelites, they're gonna be searching for the videos, he's gonna take the videos off. You're not gonna be able to uh, search them videos. You're gonna pull out that, you're gonna pull out your big ass Bible, mama, you know, grandma's big ass Bible she gave you, okay, for, for your birthday, and you're gonna try to go through the precepts, you're gonna get twisted and turned up. Okay, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a stumbling block for the people. Okay? You uh, jump that? Okay, uh, tomorrow you had to uh, finish that? Finish that. It's Ezekiel 33 and 30. It says, Also thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against me. Talking shit. By the walls and then the doors of the houses. What does that represent? Their houses. Their places that they dwell in. Go ahead. And speak one to another, every one to his brother. There you go. Every one to another, every one to his brother. So they speaking about us. They speaking about the, the, the men of the Lord, the Israelites. Okay, go ahead. Saying, come I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh forth Yo, from the Lord. Yo, this is crazy. Look at the person I'm saying, oh, white right, man. Yeah, this and that, you know. Oh, they, they, they saying death to, you, they saying death to everybody. All right, but they, but they pass all, all the talks we have about, you know, building up the nation. Of course, we speak about death. That's, that's written in the scriptures. Uh, get real quick, Jeremiah 28. We speak about destruction. Yeah, we're going to speak about destruction, but we're in that time of destruction. It says in Ecclesiastes, what is that, the third chapter for every time there's a season? We can, we can hold that too. Okay, so there's a there's a time and a season to talk about everything else, but they'll skip all the things that we're telling you, hey, this is the name of the Lord. Okay, you're the Israelites. That goes in one ear and not the other. Okay? They only, they only want to hear and listen to what they want to hear and listen to. Okay, it's called selective listening. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Yeah, we're going to finish that up. Oh, yeah. Verse 31, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, uh -huh. and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words. Yeah, they hear. They hear the words. They just hear the words. That's all. They just hear. They have ears. They just hear. But that isn't. Go, well, go ahead. Well, the scripture said, be doers of the word and not hearers mm -hmm. only, uh, deceive your own self. Mm -hmm. Can you get uh, Isaiah 29? I think it's Isaiah 29, 13. And they, and they hear thy words, but they will not do they're them. They're not going to do them. So they hear the words, but they're not going to do the words. So all you Jakes that are watching the videos, right this second, you're literally not going to do the, you're not going to do the words. Yeah. You're, you're, you are not moved with fear. Okay, you don't you don't think you really don't even think this is true. Okay, you think it's good. You think it's, you think it's fucking good. The most high is going to destroy you, man. The most high is going to destroy you, Jake. That think you think it's good. Okay, that have set it on your lead. So we know two thirds of our people are not going to do the words. All right. Go ahead. What the words are like. This is this is this is going to be your protection. Go ahead. Or with their mouth, they so much love. Yeah, and I think that was when Isaiah got it. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, go ahead, read that. Isaiah 29, 13. 
Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouths. See, with their mouth. We're just reading that right now. Go ahead. And with their lips do honor me. Yeah, they talk a good game. Jake talks a great game, man. You think, man, you, you can fool, you can fool Jake Simpson easily. What was that, uh, that, um, the interview with Nick Cannon? What was the other dude? Uh, the, 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 the professor, professor? You got a professor, you got a professor at the beginning of his name. So you already know Jake will listen to him. You, you, uh, he, you, you know he's a man of God. He's a conscious man. He's a spiritual man. He knows what he's talking about. Go ahead. It says, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Yeah, your heart. Your heart is totally far from Yah Basimashad. Okay? You, you have no, you, you literally are totally in a polar opposite direction of where you should be going. Where you should be going. Okay? You're literally going down, uh, down a drain. Right along with America. Okay? That's why when all these things, when these, when these, um, you know, these moratoriums, they get lifted. Okay, when uh, that unemployment at extra 600 a week, uh, July, I think like 25th or some shit like that, when that shit gets lifted, when you get, when your unemployment, your unemployment's gonna run out at the end of the year. Yeah. When that shit gets lifted, okay, when uh, you, when, when you, there is no more jobs, you already fired from your job. Okay? When they say, okay, you need to pay your rent now. It's been, what, a moratorium three, four, five months? So when that when that happens, you're gonna be begging Trump. Can you can you give us a place to stay? You're gonna be begging a so-called white man for a place to stay when you should be begging y'all about Shmuel Shot. Yeah. Okay. That's who you should be begging for the things that you need, praying to. But you're not. See, you Jake don't have faith. Jake don't believe. Okay. So in these last days, you're gonna see the ones who believe and the ones who don't believe, and ones are gonna be the the, the haves and the have-nots. Okay. You're gonna try to get on the team with the halves and you and you're not gonna be able to do that. Okay? Go ahead. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. And their fear towards me is taught is taught by the precept of men. These pastors, these spiritual men, they tell you everything as long as you love God. God, God knows y'all are. He 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 uh he hates the sin, not the sinner. Prosperity yeah, that prosperity doctrine. Everything is gonna be alright. You do. You're on the right path. God just bless. God bless you. Nah, that's not. That's not how it goes. But that's. But that's the fear towards y'all watching my shot. They don't. They don't tremble. Can you get that in um in a uh, uh, Psalm the second chapter? It might be the verse seven. I forget. It said rejoice when um. When what is one when you were Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Psalm chapter 2, uh, verse 11 Serve the Lord with fear. See, serve the Lord with fear. True fear, not the fear that these phony pastors and spiritual men and also these different Israelite uh, leaders. Okay, go ahead. And rejoice with trembling. And rejoice with trembling, man. Why? Because the most I can get you, man. You think it's all good? Hey, we're all worthy of death. Okay, but Yahweh Bashamashah, he has mercy. His mercy, his mer uh, what is it? Mercy rejoices over judgment. Yeah. Okay, so we receive we receive that mercy and we want to stay in the in that in that um in that circle of mercy, in those hands of mercy, in the shadow of mercy, okay, which is Yahweh Bashamashah. And doing his will, not being willful, not doing what the world is doing, not being joined unto the world. Okay, living in pleasure, cause all that, all that pleasure is about to end. It's about to stop. Okay, you, you, you can't even go to the movies, man. Yeah. You can't go to the movies. You can't. You know, very few barber shops are open. See, a lot of clo clubs are shut down, closed. So much so, you got to go to fucking underground places. Okay. Go ahead. It says, kiss the sun. At least he be angry. Yep. Well, Yahweh Shai will come and get you. He gonna, he, gonna, he gonna zap you with a missile. Yeah. Alright, All right, you're supposed to kiss the sun with his what? Get into this word. That's right. That's how you kiss the sun. Showing affection. Because what, what, uh, uh, in ancient Israel, what did we do? We kiss each other. Okay? You kiss them on the neck. They still do that in, uh, in certain Middle Eastern customs and the uh, Italian. They do it for their jakes. 
you, you ain't gonna kiss no brother, man. Brother, look at you kiss a brother. Brother, look at you all fucking crazy. But we did that because it's good to say that we were tender and delicate. Okay? Go ahead. Kiss the son, least he be angry, and he perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Yeah, his wrath is kindled but a little. Go ahead. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Blessed are all they that put their trust, that put their trust in Yah Bashiman Shai, okay? And Yah was shy because he came down and he laid the way for us. Okay? He paved the way for us. Okay? He allowed us to be joined back to Yah to, to Yahweh. Okay? And to receive mercy. Okay? By his sacrifice. So are we not living sacrifices? See, uh, Israel, Israelites, you don't want to be a sacrifice. You want to you wanna live in pleasure in this world. And this in the pleasure of this world, they're pretty much getting shut down. Yeah. Okay, a lot of these businesses, they're being literally just closed down. Okay? People really don't know what's going to happen. They're, they're in a constant state of anxiety and fear. And that, and uh, I'll read some, you know, certain things. Ba basically, uh, uh, stress is a, a big factor of why people are actually sick. It's really, it's actually really stress. Now, the foods that you eat in your body, they can basically duplicate stress also because they're very, they're, they're stressors on the system, okay? Because they're processed, high salt, high fat, your diet's all messed up. But stress in general, which this is a westernized society, all that stress, that's a killer. That's an actual killer. It puts you in a state, it puts you in a state of fight or flight, what they call it, so to speak. Okay, high cortisol, high adrenaline, okay? And that's a, neg that's a negative effect you. So you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if your business is gonna be able to open. You you saved up all this money. You you had aspirations and dreams to make it. You know, in an NFL career, you working out in the fucking morning, putting hell upon your body. You studying in the books, trying to get to that high level college. You know, you you just enter into medical school. Okay, you 100, 200k in, in debt, and then shut down. Boom 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 boom. You're done. And 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 the government's not trying to help you. You're getting fucked, okay? That's what's going to happen. You people are about to get fucked, all right? And we, we've been telling you. The Spirit of the Lord has been on it to tell you. Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. This, uh, precept, this, uh, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord. Yeah, it, Jake, Israel, you, for, you have forsaken the Lord. Look, consider our situation and why we're here under the so-called white men of other nations, they don't consider that. They don't even give a shit. They don't care. They, they're totally fine, okay, being under the so-called white man. Living in the hood, living in the ghetto. They're totally fine with that, man. Jake, you, Jake is a goddamn slave. They're okay. They, you, you see all these Edomites, man, you, you don't even know how these Edomites be living. These Edomites are living good. They got the best of the best, right along with the other nations. Okay, when they come into the city, they look at you, nick, you, you niggas. They talk all nothing, all type of shit about you. Okay, but they close their mouth when they, uh, you know, uh, in close proximity. But now, hey, Karen, she, she ain't closing her mouth. Karen, fucking up. She going, she going wild. She pulling out pistols. You know what I mean? The, the husband in the car just said she the man. <laughs> See? Up, up. Yeah, and she was holding it. That was a professional way of holding that <laughs> yep, shit. Yep, yep. That wasn't just a nigga, a nigga pull out a pillow and drop it. That was a professional way how you hold it with two hands. That was, that was a professional way of holding it. So you already know her shot is on point. Okay? And what are they and what do they have intention to do? To, sh to shoot and to kill you black and Hispanics. Okay? On the corner of common. It says, but ye are they that forsake the Lord, that have forgotten my holy mountain. You have forgotten the Lord's holy mountain. You have forgotten your, uh, your, your, uh, the mother of us all. You forgot uh, who your power were, was, who your power is, excuse me. All right, you forgot who you were. You told, you literally don't even fucking know who you are. Right. Genuinely, you can, you can, not one so-called black Hispanic Native American come up here and tell me genuinely that they know who the fuck they are. Cause they don't, you'd be lying. Unless, unless you tell me you're Israelite. Now then, now we're talking. Outside of that, if you genuinely think you're something else, you're confused. You're, you're totally confused and your mind is warped. Yep. Bottom line. 
That's, that's what was happening in that, that Cannon Class episode. They was talking about a whole bunch All type of just, I couldn't even watch it. It's hell. I, barely, I, I couldn't even go. I, I watched a little bit of it. I was like, oh my it's goodness. It's complete hell on the, on the mind. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to jump in there and watch it, you know, a little bit here and there. But you, you can get totally bugged out. That guy, Nick Cannon, is a complete oh, bug out. Yeah, he's all over, all over. The and you know what? They are the leaders of our people. Right. Our people literally look at them as spiritual leaders. Because this nigga made a, 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 cause a nigga makes a rap song, you look up to him. Now, whatever he say is, is, is golden. Whatever you, whatever he said. Okay, he, 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 now he's, he's your leader now. But in his music, he's talking about shooting niggas, killing niggas. Okay, pimping hoes, yep. riding dirty, stunning, no stunning. But but he's your, but he's your leader now. The nigga on the Dr. Sebi's guy, now he's a leader. Got it, got it. <laughs> you niggas are done. You're totally finished. You're done. Yep. All right, we fuck the two thirds. The two thirds are done. Don't worry about the two thirds. Okay, the two thirds are gonna be destroyed. All right, bottom line. You ain't worried. Don't worry about Jake. Worry about yourself and the elect. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's what you need to worry about. Is keeping the faith because the two third you see Jake if Jake is not if Jake don't get hey look we're at the point if Jake don't got it now they ain't gonna get it now the Lord he gonna work miracles let the Lord work don't worry about that the elect gonna come in but don't fucking worry about the two third because they're gonna be destroyed all right he's still gonna get them niggas go ahead that prepared a table for that troop and that furnished the drink offering unto that number Therefore will I number you to the sword. Therefore will I number you to the sword. Why doesn't a Christian church, why doesn't a Christian pastor tell you tell you that? Yep. The Lord is literally about to number you, Jake, to the sword, and you're his, you're actually his people. Why? Because you're disobedient. You won't listen. You're hard-headed. Okay? What do they say? What does Jake say? A hard head make a soft behind. Okay, so the Lord, he gonna, he's about to open up on Jake. We've been saying this for years. My apostle elders on down that the so-called white man's gonna come, he's gonna destroy you. He gonna he gonna basically say, okay, you got the COVID. We need to test you to test. You get man, you're you're out of there. You get tested, oh, man, you're done. Man. When has when has the so-called white man ever done anything good for you? Yep. Okay, he came over to America, he gave literally, he gave the Native American smallpox. What you would call modern, modern day uh, anthrax. Okay? He used biological warfare, okay? In these different conflicts, he used biological warfare. You think this man, you think this man ain't gonna do that again? You, you think he ain't doing it already? Yep. What, do you, what do you think AIDS is? Nobody even talks about AIDS anymore. Right. I believe it was in the 90s, it was all about AIDS, or yeah, in, yeah, I think it was the 90s. Mm -hmm. it was, and it, it was disproportionately affecting who? So-called black people, Jake. Okay? The same things are happening. You, the so-called white man has always attacked you. He's sick to the police force on you. Okay? He's sick to dip these different policies to basically put you in a situation that you're in and keep you in a situation that you're in. He, he even, he even uh, weaponized your music. Yeah. Okay? He weaponized food. All right, he weaponized his media. Okay? He weaponized the black woman. Oh, yeah. Well, she was already a demon. But he made her even, he, 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 he yeah, he fine tuned it. He fine tuned the demon. He, he started work, he started working with the demon and they started collaborating. Okay, picking them off each other's spirit. Go ahead. For so what? To come against the man. Okay, go ahead. Therefore will I number you to the sword. Yeah, that's why the, the most high, y'all watch my child, he's about to number you, Jake, to the sword, man. The sword, the sword is literally coming right now. The sword is here. That's Esau Edom. Okay, that's the FEMA truth. Okay, that that's uh the the uh all these um grocery stores getting shut down. My brother did a video down there when Moderate had uh what he had the troops out there. He had the troops rationing food. So it's already happening in, in different pockets of America. It just haven't happened in uh these these large cities, but we've seen you know a scare of food being scarce for a, a you know a week two weeks. You know, people rush into grocery stores, okay? And it's gonna come a point to where they say, hey, look, you're not tested. You can't go and get food. And it's not like you, Jake, can go and hire somebody to go pick up food like Instacart or anything. Okay. You gotta go do it yourself. 
All right, so Esau Edom, he, he has already had these things in his mind, how he's going to destroy you. He set it all up, but that's Yahweh Basham Shai sicking Esau on you, two thirds of you Jakes. Okay, you disobedient Israelites. Okay, so here they, we're in a we're in a fucking lockdown, and Jake ain't up here listening. And we was reading the scripture, Jake watching the videos. You ain't this ain't this ain't changing you. This is just something to hear. This is just this is just like you know, you know. Uh, uh, I can't go to the clubs. I'm gonna listen to this. You know, it's a past time. Oh, I, I want to hear. It. I'm gonna skip through the where they curse somebody out. Yep. That's all Jake want. That's why Jake attacks these, these different Israelite groups. That's all cursing, cursing people out in the controversy and they out there in uh, ri uh, where, where riots and shit are at, you know, marches. Jake like controversy. Jake don't want to hear the pure words. Jake don't want to hear anything that can heal them. They don't want to be healed. These words, these words heal you. Jake don't want to be converted. They want to stay in that little state. They want to stay they want to stay here in Babylon, which you know what? You are going to stay in Babylon. You're going to be part of Babylon, okay? Your flesh is going to be burnt to a crisp, okay? Go ahead. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Yeah, you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Two-thirds of our people, they're all going to be destroyed. Don't worry about the two-thirds. Fuck the two-thirds, okay? Jake, Jake is not trying to get this word. Jake is not trying to serve y'all by Shemal Shai. They got another covering on them. They're heathens. When you look at these niggas, these niggas are heathens. Okay, and that goes for all the tribes. Now the Lord could wake, wake them up, but they got to repent. Okay? If Jake is not trying to repent, move away. Don't, don't deal with none of these people out here in the world. Okay? D d deal with your close family and that's it. Okay, fuck your brother. Okay, your sister, unless they ain't helping you out or something, you know? Your auntie that want, want you to come, nah, you know, use, use wisdom. But they, 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 they talk about oh, what, what's about to happen. They ain't building you up in the spirit. They trying to tear you down. Yeah. Because they're part of the world. All these people are part of the world. And they're going to literally be part of the world, world of America when the, those missiles hit, man. Okay, when, they get, when they ask to get burnt up to a crisp. And these people need, they need it. Okay? You fucking people need to get burnt up into a crisp. Look at them. They, it's in her eyes. You can look at them in the eyes and they're saying, burn me to a crisp. Okay? Look at their lifestyle. It's not a life, it's a death style. All right? And they hate the words of the al Shai. All right? Go ahead. Because when I called, you did not ask. So the Lord actually allowed his prophets to come out and call unto you. He's calling unto you right now as we speak. The little time that we have left. He's calling unto you. Go ahead. When I spake, he did not hear. When I spake, he did not hear. Can you get that proverb? Oh, you know, when I spake, you did not what? When I spake, he did not hear. Well, so the Lord is speaking. That's what oh, oh, he was the first real quick. Just to prove that how the Lord speaks. This is uh, Hebrews 1 and 1. Mosai, who at sundry times and in the, uh, diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. By the prophets. The fathers of who? That's Israel. But he spake. Read it again. Bible yeah. just, so you, so, so, just so you know that the prophet is the actual mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And you have to take it as that. You can't take, oh, this is a man. Okay? No. Yeah, he is a, it's a man, but there's a difference. All right? The Lord speaks to men. Okay, but not just any man, not just any nigga out there that, that wants to open up the Bible. Okay, and, and it's a lot, it's a lot out there. Okay, go ahead. Hebrews 1 and 1, the Most High, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. So the Lord, he spake to the Father, he spake to the Israelites by what? By the prophets. So we are the what? We are the, we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Basham al -Shan. Okay? Go ahead, read that. Okay, okay, okay. The same Matthew 10 and 20. For it is not you, it is not ye that speak. There you go. But the but the spirit of your father <laughs> will speak it in you. So when you read about, you know, uh how the spirit will come upon a prophet, when you read about the old testament, they'll start prophesying. It's essentially the same thing. The spirit is on us to prophesy and to come out and tell you these things, okay? To tell you these things before they happen. Okay, because that's Yahweh Shema Shai uh, you know, basically putting out his hand of mercy. <laughs> So when when so when 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 the sword comes, 
when the sword comes, that's it, man. That's the judgment. You can't turn back the judgment. Once the once the judge hits the gavel, yeah, that's it. that was the judgment. Okay? That's it. That was it on that? Time. Okay, we're going to that one. We'll jump back to that. Uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, stand ye in the old way, or stand ye in the ways, and see and ask for the old path. The old path is what? It's the, it's the scriptures. Uh, the, the, the path of our fathers. Which we lost that, but now it has returned unto us. Okay, in the land of drawn waters, uh, uh, they shall re rehearse the righteous acts. Okay? Which is what? The law, statutes, commandments. All the things that are written in the scriptures that we performed. Okay, that we were commanded, that we made an open Yah Bashim Shai to uh to uh to do. Okay, go ahead. It says, Where is the good way and walk therein? Where is the good way? Because Jake is trying to find these different ways. That's why, that's why you Israelites are so pulled in different directions. Okay, uh, I'm conscious, or so there's many different branches of consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's a smorgasbord of bullshit. New Wapians, and then you got Egyptian and this and that, and then you got some other shit that a nigga just made up. Yeah. <laughs> All right? You got Christians, and you got different denominations and different belief sections of Christianity. And then even within the church, everybody believes different things. Okay, one person come and fool you to be in Islam because what you because you don't know the the, the good path. Even when, you, even when you come within Israel, you know, oh, still man. gotta be led to that straight gate. So oh well, well, another word. well the, uh, the the gate of destruction is what? It's wide. No, it's not. The gate of destruction is very wide. Yep. So it, so it's all type of different uh, spirits out there that 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 uh that basically are led to destruction. And there's only one spirit that leads to life. Literally, there's only one spirit that leads to life, and that's the Yahweh Shai. There's only one truth. There's only one truth. Okay. And there, but there's all type, all different types of spirits out there to get you, to get you destroyed. Well, Jake, Jake would say, "Oh, I'm living my truth." <laughs> There you Yo, go. I'm living my truth. It's only one truth, man. That's right. How you living your truth? It's only one truth. Well, your truth is a lie. Yeah, it's bullshit. There you go. In your mind, one plus one equals eight, but in reality, it equals two, man. Yeah. See, Jake, you you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you just go down any path, yeah. man. You you ain't you ain't you ain't trying to differentiate between the difference of evil and good, man. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is telling you to choose choose the good way, man. You want to be in everything else outside of what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai told you to get mm -hmm, into, man. Mm -hmm. Which is causing you to uh, be destroyed out here, man. That's the reason why you got all these diseases on you. You know, hypertension, uh, uh, liver disease, diabetes, you know, high blood pressure. You're predisposed to the COVID. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> why? Because you 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 not seeking that good way. And that's the only way. Yep. That's right. Are you a target? Right, who's this vaccine really for? Mm -hmm. They don't say, oh, we got to help these poor white people. Mm -hmm. Oh, these white people, they need it. Oh, these Asians, these immigrants okay. coming from all over the place with a fucking disease coming over. No, they want to use it on you Native Americans and you so-called black people, man. Well, wouldn't you think that they will, uh, the first ones who get it will be the Chinese? That's what they yeah. yes. The wet markets, right? Don't you think they would have quarantined Chinatown? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Don't, right. Aren't they predisposed because they got family members coming? I mean, wouldn't well, that make sense? Don't they eat fucking bats? Right? Yeah. They eat all kinds of shit. They yeah. run the wet market. They, they run the wet market. They trap out the wet market. But they want to get a nigga that go to Popeye's every day, man. <laughs> or a fucking Indian that just eat fry bread and shit, man. See, the most sides going to kill you guys. Man. That's what's all it leads to. Yep. Yeah, yep. They want to vaccinate you. And then, the, then the Esau is such a dumbass. Well, you, he's saying that, well, uh, the elderly and black people don't have that much vitamin D. Oh my goodness. First and foremost, the main source of vitamin D comes from the sun. Okay, if you're an Edomite, if you get too much exposure to the sun, what do you get? A skin cancer. Yeah. Sunburn. Yeah. You get killed. But so-called melanated people, all right, dark skinned people, starting with the so-called black man, you hang on the sun, you're good on your vitamin D. Well, Esau's pseudoscience is that, 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 that don't work. That don't work because the dark skin, it doesn't uh, absorb the vitamin D. It takes longer for the so-called dark skin to absorb vitamin D. That's the pseudoscience. Yeah, which is a there. fucking lie. Exactly. That's why you can't believe this white man. You can't believe anything this devil says. It says you gotta look at it, take it with a grain of salt, man. And 
filter it through the script of God by seeing that with God. But if you're not spiritual, you're a bug out, you're a new opian, you're, you're a new age, whatever. Well, now a new thing to be conscious is to be all in a, uh, astrology. That's been the thing. That's been the thing. You niggas are witches, man. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Yeah. You worship the spiritual demon saints. Some of you do it outright. Yeah, yeah. Some of you do it unknowingly, yeah. You know, but the majority of our people is into that, that astrology yeah. madness, uh -huh. man. But you go into the origins of it, it came straight from Babylon. Which the Yahabashim Yahushai, he was completely against the customs of Babylon, man. But see, this is what Yahabashim Yahushai is talking about right here. Jeremiah 6 and 16, thus saith the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, not this new bullshit that's out here, man. You know, you attaching yourself to everything else under the sun outside of the, the old way. What was your forefathers into, man? You don't even know who your forefathers were. No, no. Oh, we was Egyptian, brother. Then another, you go to another nigga, he'd say we was Arabs. Another nigga said we the Moabites. We Asiatic. We Asiatic. Yeah, we the Moabites, man. So what? Which one is it? You know? Or oh, he say, or oh, he say, we're so mixed in together here that you don't care. We know who you are. Yeah. Dumbass. You out your damn mind. That's that's the that's that's what's going on. Yeah, man. that's a, that's a guy that's completely drunk off of philosophy. Okay. And that's basically we, that's basically our people are drunk and they're staggering. Uh huh. They, they, they look, they might look upright, but they're literally drunk staggering, okay? It says in Acts for the old paths, where is the good way? Yeah, where is the good way? This is the, this is the only way, this is the good way right here as we, uh, uh, that are contained in the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Life. Yeah. When, when, where, where can you go in the scriptures and actually implement the things that Yahweh Shemashai told us to do and it was bad? Some bad happened. No, everything, it's going to be good. It's going to be light. Okay? Y'all, Bashem HaShai said, if we were to do all these things, we were going to receive all these blessings. And yep. Jake was getting blessed, man. Uh -huh. Why well, he said, Jeshawan waxed fat and he kicked. Mm -hmm. what, what happened? Jake started doing good and they forgot about Y'all Bashem HaShai. So they was doing big. You had all type of wives. Oh. You had vine vineyards. Okay? You had land. You had gold. Okay? You had all type of businesses. Because the most high, what? He, he was blessing us. God. And slaves. Yep. Yeah, slaves, servants. Jake was doing good, man. Jake was chilling. Yeah, a lot of, uh, you know, some people might not realize we was a superpower, man. We was a major superpower back when we had our kingdom established, man, under Solomon, mm -hmm. under uh, King David, when David put all the other nations down. Mm -hmm. When Solomon was in power, he had he had people coming from outside of, of, of that area to come visit him, man. Yep. Well, to bring tribute. Yep, yep. yep. bring tribute. Ha had all kind of imports coming in, Acknowledging him as the king of the world. Mm-hmm. Not just the king of Israel. Because you never hear of that another king giving tribute to a king. But Solomon was that high level. Yep. Yeah, he was on a high level, man. And Jake, you know, trusted in that. You know, we did this by ourselves. See, look, look how we look how we doing, man. We don't need the Lord no more. You know, and this 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 chapter actually goes into it a little bit. Uh, it says, Where is the good way and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. You shall find rest for your souls. That's why we're, we're, we, we are spiritually rested, okay? That's going to ultimately come in the kingdom fully, but you can't, you can't find rest here in Babylon. It says that this is not your rest, but through, through the hope that we are going to be delivered, that gives your soul rest, okay? The truth shall, make, shall set you free, as the scripture said. It sets your mind free out of the clutter of Babylon, out of the clutter of this world, out of the lies and the deceit. Okay, in the, in the facade of this world. Okay, the false reality. Because this is a false fucking reality. Yeah. Okay, you can, the American dream, you can just work, you can work hard, you know, and, and then you can, you can, you can have it all. Yeah. That's, that's bullshit, man. Well, Look well, at Jake. Try to work now. Where you, you, you going to work at? You can't. It's <laughs> locked down. You can't work. You literally, Esau can come and grab your ass up and lock you up because you want to work. Yeah, right now, you can't, you can't live the American dream unless you're essential. If you ain't essential, the American dream is closed to you, man. How about that? We'll show you that this whole society is a farce, man. you know? And it was never really built, it was never really, that was, that's the so-called white man. That's for the so-called white man, okay? The Edomites. It was never, the American dream was never uh, given or actually, um, you know, spoken, spoken about for the benefit of you so-called blacks, man, Native Americans. Because mm -hmm. the American dream, Gab was living the American dream. Yeah. They was doing whatever the hell they wanted to do. They had number land. They had all type of shit. Okay, civilizations. If you want to talk about the American dream, 
Autonomy, Gad, Ruben, Ishikar, as well as all the other tribes. Yeah, what happened? The Esau came and put them down. So that dream was destroyed. Once that happened, it was destroyed. Yep. Okay. It was even called America back then. What? And then there's no such thing as an American. <laughs> Dumbasses. Yeah. Proud to be an American. First of all, you go to South America, they think they're Americans. Yep. And they yep. look yeah. at Americans yeah. like, what the fuck? Yep. We're all Americans. Yeah, that's what, they, that's what they think. And they look at white people like, you're not American, you're, you come from somewhere else. And so they think of the rest of the, the rest of the America, so so to speak, right? And so no no one here in this country, if you want to look at your passport, it says U.S. citizen. It don't say American, right? You're a citizen. You're a captive of the of the U.S. government, man. And then when they signed the Declaration of Independence on July the fourth, seventeen seventy six, wherever the hell they did it, right? What what were you what were you niggas doing, man? Where was the where was the Native American? What was wrong with you? What was what was happening? The other way for Juneteenth. <laughs> Here it is, you was in hardcore bondage and slavery at that time, man. They weren't, they didn't care about that. And the British, America, you, you wanted to get away from the British, the British, uh, the 13 colonies. But why, did, why was the British so rich? Why are they so powerful, man? They're the top slave traders, all right? They, sla they traded all the slaves, man. They controlled that market. They cornered that shit, man. And America had, a, had enough of them. They didn't need to ship them in no more. They, they, they were reproducing them and keeping it going, man. Or smuggling them. Yep. Okay? And we were what? Not even humans. Not even a citizen. We weren't even three-fifths yet. That had to come out. That had to come when they had the three-fifths compromise, man. That was after America was set up. So it's all bullshit, man. Yep. You want to celebrate the fourth, the fourth, that we used to call it the fourth of the July, man. Independence Day, man. You got to wear a mask on Independence Day. You can't get service if you're not wearing a mask. Well, San Francisco... Had the uh, uh, 1918 when they did the the, the mass thing back then, uh, 20 years ago, uh, 100 100 100 years ago, what happened? They had an anti-mask league. Esau was bucking up, man. So what's going? People are bucking up right now. Trump don't wear a mask. He don't need to wear one. So why the fuck should we? You don't need to wear one. Why? Why? Because you, you're totally controlled, all right? You don't have power like Trump, all right? You gotta you gotta comply. You gotta show. You gotta show everybody that you that you want that you believe in this bullshit ass science, man. You believe in a virus that don't exist, man. or if it does exist, it ain't gonna kill you. Keep going. It says, uh, but they said we will not walk therein. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Yeah, we're the watchmen, man. That's what we're doing. Well, that's what we're telling you. What's happening? What's been happening? We're sounding the trumpet. We're letting you know. Because white man, he's about to roll out this mandatory vaccination. Yep. The second wave, the pestilence, the plague. Well, now it's, it's talking about swine flu. Yeah. A different type of swine flu's out there, a new influenza. But what do they call that first one, the 1918, about 100 years ago? And you gotta think about it, right? They were saying in 19, uh, 1920, 1921, all that time, that time period, as World War One was ending. Yeah. Yep. All right. They were, they were passing the Federal Reserve, okay? They're doing all that. Shalom. They was doing, they was doing all those moves, man. Now, a hundred years later, it's coming back. Now they're gonna have to establish a new bank. But this bank ain't gonna be a Federal Reserve, man. It's gonna be an RFID microchip, man, connected to the beast, the mark of the beast. Right? Oh, there's gonna be a famine. There's gonna be a new pestilence, look, man. What's the COVID-19, the coronavirus? Huh? It says. Also, I said, oh, I said, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we will not hearken. Yeah, like Professor Griff, right? I never listened to this guy before the truth. He be going into the elite. Are you following me? Are you following me? Right? This nigga can always say that in his presentation. Yeah, he'd have a projector. I remember that shit, man. He'd go in, he'd talk about the Illuminati, but then it would start. Like, what? He'd go into some African shit, 5%ers. First of all, you're a 5%er. That's not even a whole number. You're a ratio. You're a bug out. You're a five. What does that even mean, man? That's not in the Bible. It's not in the scriptures. Ain't nobody ever. Ain't no five percent are running running society right now, man. Those are full blown Edomites up there. Yeah, our people want to listen to what this nigga got to say, and he gonna say that the Bible was taken, uh, our stories that were taken from the Africans. Hey, yo, show mine, man. Okay, so all right, so let's say that is the case. What of the Egypt? What, what about Egypt? What about that? That was a global event. Everybody, we're talking about how other nations trembled at the sight or the sound of hearing about the Israelites 
Why was that? Because of Egypt. Because we were us getting delivered out of Egypt and our Lord bringing judgment on that place. Where is that story at in uh, so-called <laughs> African history? A nation yeah, is and, trembling or oh, Adam, you know? In African a folklore, right? Where was that story about the Egyptian captivity, the, the exodus? What about the creation? What about the creation? Yeah, where's you go that? The, the Egyptian creation, the creation of these, uh, you know, other different tribes completely fucked out, man. What about, what about the lost statutes of commandments? Where are those in African folklore? They, they didn't ever circumcise. They didn't circumcise their kids on the eighth day. Oh, their women, their women weren't in order. They would actually have them as pharaohs, as, as queens, yeah. as gods. Oh, and they, they believed in polyamory. Okay, where was all? Where's all this? Where was that in the Bible? The African folklore took uh, the, the, the Bible stole from African folklore. It's all bullshit, man. So all these, you can't listen to these guys, man. They're gonna lead you to a brick wall every time. Keep going. He said, therefore, hear ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected me. And that's our people, man. That's why the Lord had us over here on this land. He brought us in hardcore bondage and captivity. Now he's waking you back up to what you need to do now. Now he's helping you understand by setting up the watchmen, blowing the trumpet, to warn you of the things to come, all right? Because they're not going to tell you about, well, at least they plan on bombing everybody. From when you go. No one's talking about World War III, right? World War III is an afterthought. Just wait till it happens, man. Nobody wants to talk about what's really going on in the world geopolitically. How the Russians... Oh, now look at gas. See how much gas yeah. costs now? It's back to pre-COVID. I think it's more, man. I got pissed off. Like, what the fuck is going on? See, Jake, you barely even drive anymore. I driving. See, Jake digital, man. So see, he's... He's, he's, you, you went to, you, you went to new shit. <laughs> All right? This brother, this brother's got digital, man. He's, he's on the Zoom call. Nah, man. That shit, goddamn $3 again. Right? And I, I you know, brothers from all over the country, you know, paying a dollar or something, man. Well, here in California, get ready for the rest of you people to be like California, all right? Because before, it'd be, yeah, yeah, it's, I'm moving to Texas. Well, what's happening in Texas? They're in lockdown. Oh, yeah. They're in fucking lockdown. And not only that, they gotta wear a mask. Mm -hmm. So you think everyone was talking shit about California being bad? Well, look, you're, you're, we've been telling you everybody's gonna end up like this place, man. Homeless on every corner, drug infested, nothing but uh, LGBTQ, trans lives, all that BS all over the place. Forced mask, complete lockdown, destroying your economy, yeah. and people like Zuckerberg and Bezos controlling your everyday life, man. Keep going. It says, to what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba and the sweet cane from a foreign country? Mm -hmm. But that's those imports that yep. I was yep. mentioning earlier. Jake was doing good, man. Yeah, Jake yeah. was on a super high level. Yep. You getting imported uh, uh, exotic incense coming in from a whole different country, man. To burn to the Yahweh yeah, Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, yeah. Most High set Jake up, man. Yeah. It said, to what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba and sweet cane from a far country? And you got to also remember that Solomon has set up that trade uh, to come over here yep. to the New World yep. to bring uh, uh, ex to export things from here and take it back to Israel, man. Yep. Probably getting things from India, uh, uh, Japan, yep. you know. We was high level, man. Trade for it. Well, that's going to that's a spirit too, because what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven? Yep. That's going to be a big trade port right there, yep. Israel. Everything going to flow into Israel. All the goods around the whole planet Earth, they gonna, even in the universe, yep. different planets, they going to what? They going to come to Israel, man. So that, that was a prelude when we was doing good back then. It's going to be on a higher level, um, you know, uh, soon, very soon, I'll say it like that. But Jake got, Jake had all that. And what did Jake do, man? Jake well, Jake start kicking back. Jake start forgetting their power. Yeah, and those In that time, the sugar cane had to come from India, if I'm not mistaken. You got to look at the history of sugar. Yeah, it goes back to Sanskrit. And okay. the word sugar. Yep, okay? Yep, yep. So that's where I had to come from. So they had to come from that land. Had, they had to go all the way out there to Elam to get the sugar, man. Well, Elam's known for all the spices. They what? got sugar, they yep. got spice, well, they had, everything nice. Yeah, well, they had Elam. They had Elam as slaves doing that sugar cane, but they were so weak, they had to bring Jake in into the sugar cane. Yeah, and, well, they weren't producing enough for the demand. Why? Because what, 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 was they, what was the British people wanting? What do you put in your tea, man? Sugar, okay? And what was the uh, the main thing they was doing? Tea and sugar, yeah, and then the spices. the spices. The spices. And they controlled all that, and that's how 
Britain controlled the whole world. As well as the drugs. And the, the drugs, opium. the opium. It was all Woodstock shop, man. They controlled, they were, they were the, the fucking smug. Like, now you call it the, the, under, the underground. That shit was real life, mainstream trading. And then you had pirates around there, right, trying to hit licks. Okay, but the main guys who would stop the pirates were the British, the British Navy. Okay, the Spanish, the Spanish got weak. And they was getting torn up. And the Spanish, they weren't pushing the sugar cane like that. But that's why, the, why did the British need the sugar, why did they need slaves? Because they had the sugar cane plantation, man. And then the cotton, right? And then it, then it all started coming in together. You gotta understand how, how this all came to be. But back then, in those days, our, we weren't, Israel, we weren't colonizing people, all right? They would come and give it to us. Okay. We didn't have to do that. We were that powerful, man. We had the blessings of Yahweh mm -hmm. Shah, so all these nations recognized us. And we did enslave, you know, especially the ones that was around us. They, oh, yeah, yeah. They forced to put tribute. Yeah, they were. We, we didn't put our people in there. Okay, look, see, it's our land now. You know, you, you keep your land. Just make sure you bring that tribute, man. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to be in the kingdom. Make sure you bring that tribute, man. Make sure you worship the Israelites and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Are you gonna get jacked up? You know, you can. Well, you ain't gonna be able to keep your customs. You know, the ones that that go against the law, you you have to do away with them. You know, but you're gonna be good, man. You gonna know you have your 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 nation, your nationality. You know, we ain't gonna tell you to conform uh, 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 too much. You know, you just gotta keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You wanna be a Moabite? You can be a Moabite. You know. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna go in there and. We try to turn you into an Israelite, man. That's not. You can only be an Israelite through the seed, okay? And that hasn't changed, right? There's no such thing as spiritual Israelite. Okay. Right? You got to be. You got to go back to our twelve patriarchs. Keep going. To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba, mm -hmm. and the sweet cane from a far country? Mm -hmm. Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor are your sacrifices sweet unto me. Yeah, no. It don't matter how fine or nice what you got, man. The heavenly Father doesn't want that, mm -hmm. right? He doesn't want that as a sacrifice. He's actually done it sick and tired of your, your, your hot air you blow, man. Right. Our people. Well, Jake was complete demons. Here it is. You got you got some fine incense. The Most High, you know, gave it to you for your personal use and so you can burn incense unto him while you're worshiping him. You behind closed doors doing all kind of wickedness, man. But then you'll go, you know, in front of everybody. I'm going to pick out that that fine, you know, cold Paul, man. I'm going to pick that. I'm going to go worship you. How about show me shot? Make a little mixture and smell. It's shit banging, man. But the most I don't want to. I don't want this. You a demon? Like you, 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 you wicked as hell, man. You was just worshiping another god. You know. And then you try to act like you know, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing going on, man. I don't want this. I don't want your offerings. I don't want your incense. These are all abominations to me, man. It's that same incense mixture that you came up with that you try to burn to me like it's something special. You did that for another god, man. Mm -hmm. You know, get the get the hell out of here with that. It said, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. With some of those stumbling blocks are these different people out here that's, that's leading you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans astray, man. Well, what's one of those uh, right now? That Black Lives Matter madness, man. So who, who really set that up? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And the Most High set it up so he can lead you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to your utter destruction, man. That's right. You all caught up in that. Oh, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. The Most High with that, man. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't teaching you about Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in there. They ain't telling you about uh, uh, the characteristics of the creator of the heavens and earth. You know, well, the, the founders of it is, is homosexuals, man. Yeah. Feminist. Which that lifestyle is completely contrary to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Sex positive. So how they gonna be teaching you and leading you down the path of, 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 of righteousness? Right, no, he, no he, 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 go, he okay, man. Let, let, let Moab take his pictures. He going to slavery anyway, you know? But how they gonna lead you down the, the path of righteousness when they themselves are, are, are service to, to sin, man? And since you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans refuse to hearken unto the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Most High set these things up so he can be justified in destroying you, man. Therefore, let's say of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. That plantation Christianity, man, mm -hmm. that's a big one. Uh, IUIC, that's pretty much just an Israelite twist on plantation Christianity. That's all that is. 
They teach, they teach the same price. Yeah, repackage. Yeah, they repackage the same. With an Israelite spin on it. You yeah. know you Israelites, but you still worshiping Christ. Yeah, you still calling on Christ. Well, that, you're no different than a Bible Belt Edomite, man. Mm -hmm. Or, or a, a newly convert uh, out there in Southeast Asia, man. Who knows? Calling on Christ. Most I ain't coming in that name. Well, first of all, why are you in the position you are? Because they wanted to bring Christ to you, man. Right? They wanted to bring Christ to you. That's why they came over here. Right? They used that as a justification for putting your ass to death and enslaving you, man. Mm -hmm. Calling you a heathen. Because you want to you bow down to Christ. To Jesus Christ. To seize your fortune, man. We're not dealing with that shit. Man. Let's say if the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahushai, behold, a people cometh from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. These are these Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. Right? These are the Edomites. They, they're cruel and they have no mercy. The, the slavery they put on us was extremely brutal. It was brutality. People want, people want to talk about police brutality. What about the brutality of America? America was very, very brutal to the Israelites, yep. man. On the Isaiah 47. Exactly. Right, they, they, they put nothing but hell on us, man. Chattel slavery. You had no you had no will over your life. You you bear a child and then and then your child be sold right back into slavery, man. Well if you ran away, he has sent he has sent people after you to bring you back into slavery, man. Well here it is, he can make a deal with you saying you're a free man, and then ha hire slave catchers to go and get you mm -hmm. and put you back into slavery. Right? But they don't want to they don't want to talk about that, they want to talk about Juneteenth. Yeah. This white man's the goddamn devil, man. Well, Juneteenth shows you that he's the devil. You yeah, had, you had takes that's working, what was it, uh, two years after, a two, two, few months? Oh, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> Juneteenth, man. That's right. All right? I don't got the specifics down. All I know is you, you niggas, a group of niggas found out late that the Emancipation Proclamation was passed, man. You want to celebrate that. That show you so-called white man and devil. Hey, Texas. But like he didn't he didn't get the news, you know, the slave master didn't get the news down in, in, in Texas that the Emancipation Proclamation was passed and the Civil War was over. He just didn't tell you Negroes down there because he wanted to keep you as slaves. Man. Well in Texas, they're chopped and screwed, man, and they're slowed down for a reason, man. They got they got the news late. And here it is, they teach you in Texas about Juneteenth, right? But why don't they teach you about John Horse? Okay, he was a seminal. Right, that went to Oklahoma, that went to Texas, that went to Mexico, man. A, 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 a Reubenite, a so-called black man, okay, from the tribe of Reuben, mixed with Gad, mixed with Reuben. Mixed, he went all the way down. He had, he had to escape Oklahoma. He made a deal with the U.S. government saying, yo, we're we good, right? You're, you're going to make sure that all the people in my tribe are going to be free men. You ain't going to come up here and raid our villages and steal us and put us back in slavery. Yeah, we're not going to do that. And then he went and did it. Esau went and did that, man. And what did John Horse do? He fucking went and back with those plantations, started fucking up Esau and freeing his slaves, man. Free, not his slave, freeing his people, man, from slavery. But they're never gonna teach you that, man. They're never gonna fucking teach you that. They're gonna teach you about Juneteenth to show you that you're just a dumbass, man. They're not gonna show you the warrior side, the true, the true side, man, of who you really are in the spirit, man. That you're the Israelites. So here it is, John Horse. He had the, he was in Oklahoma, it was too much hell. He had the fight, too, he had the fight all the way through Texas, man, to get that, get to Mexico. And at that time, this is pre-Civil War, slavery was illegal all over the world, man. Including Mexico was probably one of the first countries that banned it, I believe. Mexico was one of the first countries that banned it. And when you, when you break it down, at that time, the president of Mexico was Benito Juarez. That was the first and only and last Ishkarite president of Mexico, man. He was actually a, tri a, a indigenous man, a so-called brown, a so-called brown man. Could have looked like a so-called black man, because there's a history of black people all over Mexico, including John Horse, right? Who was a so-called so black man, a so-called Native American man, a Seminole Indian, so-called Reuben. He went all the way down to, uh, to, to Mexico, and what was happening? Esau was still going into Mexico, stealing slaves, man, stealing Jake's, because Jake would go to Mexico to get out of that slavery, man. But Esau would take his red ass over there. But he wanted to talk about illegal immigrants, man. You're a real piece of shit, Esau. All right? You're a real piece of shit. So you go down to Mexico. <laughs> you go down to Mexico and try to steal uh, so-called black people and put them back into slavery. So what ended up happening? Benito Juarez went and called the Mexican military up there to help assist John 
John Horses, uh, military, his, his soldiers, his warriors. So you had Judah, you had Gad, you had Ishakar, you had Reuben all getting together fighting this white man, man. That's what, that's our history, man. Fighting for survival against this devil, man. But this white man ain't gonna tell you that. Black Lives Matter ain't gonna tell you that. They're gonna tell you just worry about black life. What the fuck? Worry about trans lives. Worry about trans, worry about gay lives, gay black men. All lives matter, trans, black, black trans, black, LGBT. And then they're saying, well, the black community is really, we don't treat our, our gay community good. Why? Why? Because our people ain't with that shit. They shouldn't be, man. It's in their spirit. It's in their spirit to know that shit is off, even though they do it. But what is, they're like, like you were saying, outwardly, but inwardly, they, they, they abuse them. They, 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 they nieces and nephews. Okay? I'm talking about all the tribes, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're, they're anti-gay, but they're over here raping their fucking uh, uh, fa little little family members, man. Be sickos. So the most I won't get rid of the two-thirds, man. Yeah. And that's why he don't let everyone into this truth. This truth is only for the elect, the Lord's chosen. Keep going. Uh, it says, they shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Yeah, and that's why our people were fucking going to Mexico, man. Because this devil was being cruel and showing no mercy. So what did John Horst do, right? He ends up getting with Benito Juarez and doing what? Beating the shit out of Maximiliano. The fucking devil that got set up by the French to be the new king of Mexico, man. So that was all happening, man. Here it is, they needed the Seminoles. They needed Reuben, Gad, and Judah. Because that was, John Horst's people was a mixture, man, of tribes. They needed them to get, give an Ishkar to who? Kick Esau out, and that's why you have Secret Mile. They, they no one's gonna fucking tell you that. Man. You're only gonna get it from the Hebrew Israelites, all right? It's true. The Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, starting with the elders and apostles, man. That's our true history, and that's just American history that you don't even hear of. We're going deeper into uh, the history of, of the prophecy here, because that country from the north is talking about you goddamn Edomites, you devils. How cruel you were, man. We were chuffing our hands off. Why, why would we want to go back to that? That's why our people were escaping. So before John Horse went to Oklahoma, where was he? He was in the Everglades, okay? In the Seminoles, they was in Florida, and then they called it the Indian problem. Esau didn't like that you had free, free men, free so-called black men, right next to the slaves. You can't have that. You can't have that. You gotta get rid of them. We gotta make an agreement, get them out of here. Plus, Esau would do slave catching, and then what did that do? They would have to go to tribe. The warriors would go in and get get their woman. I think they stole John Horse's wife. That's one of the big stories. They stole his wife. He went down and burned down goddamn almost every plantation next to the next to the land. They're not gonna tell you that. They're gonna just tell you about Nat Turner and a few other uprisings, man. But they're never gonna explain to you that one. Why? Because that one encompasses all the tribe. They don't even tell you about Nat Turner. Oh, yeah, you gotta, yeah, look, you that gotta, you gotta look that up. Yeah. Well, yeah, they'll tell you about Nat a little bit, but they won't tell you that Nat Turner believed he was a prophet. They won't tell you that Nat Turner was reading the scriptures. That he said that we're the Israelites. That, that he said, he believed that he was Moses, man. And he wanted to free his people from captivity. They won't tell you that much. But now, now is the time to know. Now is the time for this information to come out. Right? Why? Because it's clear as day who this devil is, man. It's clear as day who the, who's this talking about. Keep going. Go for sure. Uh, this is Proverbs uh, 12 and 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. Yeah, a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. Okay? And you used to call us beasts. Yeah. Devil. You refer to us as less dehumanized. You you refer to us as less than. Not, not even a full-blown human. Keep going. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Yeah, yeah. Esau, you are, oh, let me, let me uh, give you a... Let me cut you a deal. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you get some land out in the new Indian territory, and I'm gonna let you be free, man. We're not gonna go and try to steal you back into slavery. And he went and did that. Which was and he made a deal, and went back on it, and he kept. He did that every time when it came came to the Hebrew Israelites, man. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and he's doing it now to this day. Here it is. You want to be a protest? You want to see him pass laws? What are they passing laws for? To make it easier for them to enslave. You want to defund the police. Well, who are they going to fund now? They're going to fund the military now. It's going to be the law enforcement. See, Jake don't think, though, man. Okay. <laughs> Jake always get caught up in, uh, you know, the, the, the madness and BS that Esau got planned out for you, man. That whole civil rights movement was set up by Esau Edom with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You, you, you fell for it, man. 
And what came out of that? Now these uh, uh, LGBTQ, they got now they got rights. And, and yo, yo, your plight got swept under the rug, man. And I was doing research on that whole. I think where was Rosa Parks at? South Carolina? She was in uh, was, uh, Alabama, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere, right? But wherever she was, uh, when she did that stand on the bus, Esau was pushing that heavy like that was a good thing. Jake was mad at her because there was a bunch of black bus companies. God, God. It was like, why don't you just ride the black bus? Why you gotta make a sign, make a big scene? Next thing you know, all the black bus companies go out of business. The black movie theaters. Yep. What happened after that? Black films, black, uh, black producers. It all went to shit. All right, everything we had went to shit. Why? Because of the civil rights movement. Yeah, the integration. The integration. And then you're shipping, then you're shipping kids over from one neighborhood to the Edomite neighborhood. And what are they doing to them, man? They fucked up. Get throwing eggs at them, calling all types of ants. Totally damaging their psyche for the rest of their lives, man. But they said that was a good thing. Yeah. But you ain't supposed to be integrated with these these devils, man. You're supposed to be separate from them. Well, who was behind it? But Esau Edom. Esau Edom, man. Leading you astray from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You're supposed to be separate. You know, but Jake got that rebellious mentality. We're going to integrate. You know? Yeah, and, and just like, just like now, you have the Jews going to integrate Back then, he was the one behind it, pushing it, man. Right? He was pushing that whole oh, welfare and the bill. The war on poverty. What, what did the war on poverty ever do? Well, that created the welfare state. That destroyed the, the black family household. Who's the main benefactor to that, too? These Edomite people. Right, the Edomite people. Well, the affirmative action, they broke it down. Who really benefited from affirmative action? White women and homosexuals. Not, not no one on this side. So all that was just a big sham on, on our people, man. Our people are easily swayed when it comes to what this devil got to say to them. Good on that? Yeah, yeah. He says, uh, they shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roars like the sea, and they ride upon horses set in array as men for war against the old daughter of Zion. Yeah, yeah, they, they, that's what, exactly what they did. They, ro they rolled on horses on us, man. They went to, when they came to North America, right, they came to the Caribbean, there was no horses here. All right? When he came to conquer this land, he brought horses. He literally did that. That was the first time uh, our people seen horses. That helped him conquer. That helped him conquer this land, man. The horses, the gunpowder, the iron, okay? Those are things. Well, that's part of his blessing, man, the fatness of the earth. So when he got that, that's what he did. He rolled on us, and that horse represents power. Okay, he has all his military might, and he's continuing, he's going to keep on enslaving you. He wants to enslave you to the point where you don't need the house. You don't need the house unless you get back your flu shot every year. Because the flu shot, the flu shot isn't something you do once in a lifetime and you're okay. You're never going to get the flu again. You got to do it every year. So Esau plans on doing a mandatory flu shot to everyone every fucking year. And what happens to those people who get those flu shots? They get thyroid cancer, all right? They got heart disease. They're depressed. They got all kinds of uh, bowel syndrome, uh, uh, irritable bowel syndromes. All right, that's what the fucking so-called white man is planning on doing to you right now. Since we have heard the fame thereof, our hands wax feeble. Mm -hmm. Anguish hath taken hold of us and pain as of a woman in travail. Yeah, that pain as a woman travail, that's excruciating pain, and you can't stop that pain. Right, and that's just going to keep coming. And so the so-called white man right now, you can see what he's doing, what he's bringing to you. This guy, Bill Gates, he's, he's what is he pushing? Black, blacks and Native Americans, they need, they need the shot. They need vaccines. They need vaccines. Well, what about the elderly? No one gives a fuck about them, man. Right, they're the main ones dying of this shit. No one's saying we got to vaccinate an old person. Why? Because that doesn't matter. They're going to die anyway. They're not out and about spreading the COVID. And they're not the enemy. And they're not the enemy. Right? And they say, well, the vitamin D, you need vitamin D to help fight uh, to help fight the coronavirus. Black people don't have enough of it. Right? Esau is immune, man. This guy's the one who carried the disease, man. When he came here to the Americas, he brought nothing but death, destruction, and disease. Okay? He was a walking disease, literally. He's giving everyone syphilis, okay? Why, because he was just raping random people in the, wherever he could find, being a sicko, man. You know how this devil is. Just imagine back then. 
there was no social media. When the, when, and also when he had the backing of the so-called church. He had the backing of the, of the church and the papacy. It was over here backing this guy, man. You got something with him? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is, um... I mean, I was like, this one? Okay. This is Psalm 55 and, and 20. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Yeah, he, that's the so-called white man, right? Because a lot of people think our people never really rebelled against this guy, man. He just forced us to do it. He pushed us to the brink. And you can see that's where our people are right now. They don't want to fight against the white man. Okay, but the Most High is going to make you for the for the reason of survival. Okay? But guess what? We're, we're Us men of the Lord, we're, we're, we're here for the spiritual battle, man. Okay, we're fighting against principalities and spiritual darkness in high places, man. Okay? We're not going to fight against this devil for tooth and nail. Right? We're going to do it spiritually. We're not, we don't have to bear arms to go against the devil. We got the chariots for that, man. Keep going. He has put forth his hands against such as we have peace with him. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why he wants to go to war with Russia. Yeah. Russia trying to be cool with you, man. You, you, you poking, you irking the nations, man. Well, China loves trading with you, man. But they gonna, they gonna want to flip, launch the missiles on you real soon. North Korea. North Korea, you over there visiting his ass, but you want to de uh you want to uh, denuclearize that place, man. Keep going. It says, um, he have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Mm -hmm. He have broken his covenant. Mm -hmm. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Those are all those treaties. Yep. Those are all those treaties he did, man. Well, you can get uh, Ecclesiastes after that. Those are all those treaties you wrote and all those agreements you made with who? The Israelites, the so-called black man, the Native American man. Right here it is the whole other, here it is America claims to be so independent, to be so, so much about freedom. America was the last country to make the slavery illegal. Here it is the whole entire world banned that slavery, man. Why did they do that? They knew that shit was super wicked, man. It was Cuba, the last country. Oh, the you know what? The water for that. But who, who was Cuba controlled by? America. It is a part of America. So by America, man. America, the flag is Cuba. That's right, Cuba and America were pretty much all... Well, look at Puerto Rico. Okay. Yeah. Same thing, Puerto Rico and Cuba are the same thing. Yeah, the same thing. Yep. But then uh, Cuba had to declare itself, had to, declare, had to go into that communist place to get rid of Esau, man. But it's still ran by Esau. Okay, keep going. It says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Yeah, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. That's Esau. He wanted to tell you everything's going to be good and grand and dandy. Well, look, now they want to change the name of the Redskins, finally. Yeah. Everything. But they don't want to change it. They really don't. They, the, the owner, is he's trying to keep it. They should have changed it last time, right? Yeah, but yeah, it was getting older the first time we got there. But now FedEx, FedEx, Nike, Pepsi, and the investors behind it say, you better change that shit. <laughs> Here it is, it's a racial slur, but yet they still say Redskin, Redskin, yep. put it everywhere, Redskin, Red. You ain't supposed to say it. It's like the N. Yeah. You ain't supposed to say it. You're supposed to call it the R. <laughs> the R, the R thing, the R people, right? Yet, you're still saying it, man, just meaning you don't give a shit. Well, why do you think Trump is over there at Mount Rushmore right now? Because, yep. That's the last monument that they can tear down. Yep. You literally can't tear that shit down. you got to blow it up with dynamite. That's right. Yeah. Gad been wanting to blow it up with dynamite since this devil did it himself. Okay? you got to understand what that, what that... It's all bugged out. Those are Indians. Those are two thirds, right? But those are the tribe of Gad. The Lakota natives used to call that a sacred mountain, right? And they called that the four grandfathers. And the pre pre Mount Rushmore, pre those Eda, four Edomites they put on there, they called it the four grandfathers, right? And then Esau's like, oh, that sounds nice. Let's put our let's put our face on it. Let's show these fucking Indians who their real grandfathers are, who they should be really real. Because you know Gad, they were, they just totally destroyed Gad, like, just like that, man. All the way to the point of, we're going to go find your, your your precious land and your, your sacred mountain, and we're going to put our ugly red faces up on it, man. And that's exactly what he did. Okay? But Trump, people say, well, oh, that's not racist. How could Mount Rushmore? I just told you why it's racist, man. You know, the racist thing is, homie, I'm not putting the Jewish people. The informant soul, the, the white, what do you say, the white Jew, they, they, they got too much knowledge of 
The in the juice in Greek culture, uh, 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 knowledge is the highest. Oh, we're gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna step down as a CEO, and I want a black person to be uh, to take you my job. Twenty percent. Yeah. I don't want to do black voices. Yeah. Being my characters. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cleveland Show yeah. guy, right? That was an Edomite the whole time. And people was like, "That's an Edomite show, anyways." It was just nigga characters. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, now, now they don't want to do. All, oh, that's all BS, man. He still look at you the same way. Ain't nothing changed about this guy. Keep going. It says um, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Yeah, war was in his heart. Okay, this devil. Well, that's all he's about, man. He's a man. Uh, all he's about is the sword. Yep. The scriptures say you live by the sword. You they don't say it, but that's the saying. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Yep. Well, Yahweh Shai said that. Well, Yahweh Shai said that, yeah. He that lives by the sword. He that lives, yeah, he that, exactly. And Esau blessing is the sword, so they make it through. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> Well, how, what the main sword going to get him, man? The thermonuclear fire. Yep. Yep. Keep going. Which he made that. Yeah. Yeah. His blessing. yeah, yeah, that was your, that was, the most high gave you that technology. It's making it through. Yeah. And well, that's why he has power right now. Yep. Because of that. That's why you, you're so big and bad. You, that's why you, you, you think you can say whatever you want. Well, look at Bill Gates, man. Okay. This guy's father was in charge of Planned Parenthood, man. All right? His father taught him, hey, we got to depopulate the world, man. We got to depopulate so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Woo! We got to depopulate. Depopulation is another word of saying exterminate the Israelites. Yep. Okay? That's what that really means. Because depopulation is only a problem in the Esau. Right. Overpopulation is only a problem in the Esau. Because he don't want he don't want to be the minority, which he is. Yeah. Hey, well that's an open duck. Go on. Yeah. It says um, his words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Yet were they drawn swords. That's what this devil is. Always about. He's gonna tell you one thing, but he's gonna kill you. Well, these cops, right? They got the you go to you go to the Oakland protest. They all doing a stupid dance. Cops. Everyone's all everything's good. Later, a couple hours later, a nigga getting shot by the cops again. <laughs> Okay. Or you getting pulled over and getting a ticket for some bullshit. What about all that? What about the cool little dance moves you was doing with the lesbian black bitch at the at the protest? Right? What about all that? It's all bullshit. Yeah. Okay? We're, we don't we don't want to take no part in any of that madness. Keep going? Oh, you yeah. get that in Sirac? Yeah, this is uh, Sirac. Um, yeah, because this white man's your enemy. Okay? Right. Yeah, I seen a guy say, uh, uh, some dude who's a non-camper. He's a black Christian, but he got people he agrees with, and people that agree with him. One, one of them is a uh, claims to be a Judite. She's a Judite, but she, but she, she's a non-Catholic. So it's all kinds of madness on Twitter, right? So anyways, this guy is saying, as long as you believe in Christ, as long as you believe in Christ, I don't care if you're black or white. We're all children. We're all you're, you're my real family, right? This, oh, this guy probably believes in Christ, man. Yes. Why don't you go invite this nigga in your house? Keep going. This is uh, Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. Yes, yeah, that's, that's your enemy. The so-called white man Esau Edom is your enemy. Your mortal enemy. Right. Okay? And our people, you gotta learn the hard way. Here it is. The Most High gave you all kinds of history. Give you the scriptures. You can go look at it. You can watch a documentary. Okay? Yeah, you still gonna be hard-headed yep. and think this nigga on your side, man. That there's some good one. They ain't all that bad. Into that nigga, baby, you know, not all white people. Yeah, not all white people is racist. Well, first of all, everyone is racist. Okay? Yeah. There's not one of us that's not racist. Okay? We live in a racialized society. Okay? Where the first thought when you see a so called black man, something comes to your head that you don't even really had to really go deep to think about. It. It's an instinct thought. Yeah. Why? Because you're a racist. Or if you see a white person, or if you see a, a Mexican person, right? Because we're all fucking racist. That's what it is, man. We live in a racialized society. Well, what does the word race go back to? Rasa, national. Rasa, nation. Right? Well, we're for our nation. Okay? Our nation is the nation of Israel, so we're racist. The most high racist. Yeah. The most high racist. Okay, the most high created nationalities. 
Okay, except Esau, what you did, you fucking try to create your own nationalities by calling them racist. And you said, okay, these, these are the Negroid. Okay, these are the, the, the Indian. These are the Caucasoids. Okay, and whatever the hell else you were looking at. I forget what you was calling the Chinese back then. Right? But you, that was all, that was you trying to do. <laughs> Mongoloid. <laughs> Try to say that to an Asian to see what's going to happen to you. That's racist. But, but I'm just saying what the white man. I'm just saying what Esau taught. Yo, God, I forgot about the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. The water for that. You see, Esau, he'll, he'll push that on you. And then, and then act like he's not, not the racist. Yep, yep. Or you. And he don't see it no more. Or he'll get mad at you. Why you have to make everything about race? Nigga, you did that. Yeah. Piece of shit. It says, never trust thine enemy. And like guess who also is the enemy? The black woman. Oh, yeah. Okay? That's another issue our people have. Okay, when I say the black woman, starting with her, and then all the other ones, okay? The, the Latino woman, the Native American woman. They're part of the enemy, man. Why? Because they, they trust in the white man, man. Yeah. They fucking love that guy. Right, and they're gonna convince the children to love them. Yep. And then you wonder why your child getting lynched. Look at all these random black kids getting lynched all over California and shit. Mm. Nobody's covering it. I wonder why, man. Probably because he, he, he was raised by his mother, who told him that the white man's all good and all his white friends probably lynched his ass. Keep going. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Yeah, as iron rusteth, so is wickedness. Iron rust because of oxide. Oxidization, okay? So anytime there's oxygen in the air, which is everywhere, it's gonna rust. The only way to keep it from rusting is to keep polishing it. Esau may polish himself, man, but that rust is gonna show, it's gonna explain it. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Yeah, though he humble himself and go crouching, that's all Esau been doing lately. Yeah. Gestures, okay? That's a gesture. That's not an action, okay? Just don't take his fucking knee. To take a knee and put a fist up and say black lives matter. That, that that's a gesture, okay? Though you go humble your now all of a sudden you care about black people. Yep. You don't give a shit. Nobody really does, man. It's all vain gestures. You're gonna show that you it's like wearing a mask, okay? It's no different. It's not gonna help you. It's not gonna stop the virus. It's not curing you. It's not curing it's not gonna cure the world of COVID-19. You just you're just wearing a mask because you're you have to do what everyone else is doing. Taking a fucking knee and saying Black Lives Matter ain't curing racism, man. It ain't stopping system systemic racism. All right? It ain't curing, it ain't bringing, it ain't bringing the block back. The block got gentrified. It's, it's, it's still getting gentrified. All right? So all those things, it's just a vain gesture. Okay? Though he does all that, keep going. It says, though he, he, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, yeah, like wiping a looking glass, fogged up glass, then you see, oh damn, look, he's still the devil. Yep. But that's going to happen way too late for our people, man. Our people are totally okay. We're just having a job, okay? And, and you know, having a little side piece or whatever. Or, or, you know, whatever they're doing, man. Whatever our people, our people are very plain people. Right? Like I said, they're not, they're not, want, they don't want to go fight this white man. But Heavenly Father's going to force you again. Yep. He's going to get you back in that warrior spirit, man. He's going to have to put it on you. Okay? Because somebody's going to have to go out there uh, during, well, he's not going to go after you. Yeah. He's going to go after you where you're going to have to protect yourself. Right? He's going to look for you and try to kill you. He may just will kill some of your loved ones. But what are you going to do? You're going to lose it. You're going to go hunting. Oh, you're going you're gonna to go Christopher Dorn. You're gonna Christopher Dornan overnight. You're just gonna get fed up and to the point where, all right, I just gotta do something about it. But it's not just gonna be you, it's gonna be all these other people over with you. Going to what? Look for Edomites. Keep going. It says, uh, set him not by thee, least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Yeah, yeah, don't, and that's what our people did during the times of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay? During the times of the Holy Roman Empire, Jake started uh, allowing Edomites to get in the family, they marry them. Where they find dukes or duchesses, and they they they, they merge the kingdoms, right? And be okay. We're living good. 
or they have a certain like well like look at the Rothschilds right how did they come up they were just some low level yeah. they're called bowers the bowers yep. which what does that mean like servant peasant peasant, 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 peasant right a peasant a bower yep. right and then they call themselves the Rothschild was supposed to be the red shield which is a sign on the money changing business how did they get it man they started working with the royal families man the black nobility the high level royal families the, those families man and what did they end up doing? You end up putting this guy at the hand of the king, so to speak. He over here handling your treasure. You go to him for the for the, the, for the loan, the fund, whatever, uh, uh, the fund which you got going. What did this guy end up doing? He ended up taking it over. He ended up taking it all over. Keep going. If I can say too, just like Haman. <laughs> Haman, yep, that was another one. He's a straight up Amalekite too. He, 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 it came out his whole time. He was fighting on the king. You yep. try to blame it on who Jacob on Israel. Yep. On one of the Lord's prophets. Yep. Keep going. It says, uh, set him not by thee, least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Well, look at the Herods. Yeah, yep. yep okay, yep. the Herodian dynasty. That's what happens when you have Edomites and then you have a Jake, Jake woman and an Edomite living amongst Israel. You got to, well, look at about, what about the, the Egyptian mother? The Egyptian father and, and the Israelite uh, mother. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that dude over, he used to start cursing the most high in front of everybody. That's when the public called it night. He started cursing the most high. What happened, man? The most, yeah, they get rid of that guy. So that, you can't be having those people around Israel. The most high is for segregation. Well, segregation is another way of saying separation. Well, what does the word holy mean? Sure. To be a holy, to peculiar people means to separate yourself from those nations. So we want to be, you want autonomy. You, know, you want to chop, you want an autonomous zone, a chaff. Yeah, niggas getting chopped up in that, man. Yeah. yeah. And then they, I, I was watching footage. They got like 12 people bugging out looking like goddamn monkeys out there. Man. You got lesbos laying in the middle of the street. Losing their mind, man. All over the the, the, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. Or, or opera, organized protest. What did that do? Did that destroy systemic racism? No. Nope. Did, that, did that stop cops from... Did that, the cops went right back into the precinct, man. And what are they going to do? They're going to get more money now. Okay. Here it is. You want to defund the police. Well, they need money to fix their precinct. They ain't coming out of their pockets. All right? They ain't coming. They're going to have to make new deals and, and rebuild that shit. All because of you dumbass. So here it is. You want to defund the police. Now you're making the police spend more money. And what else are they going to get? They're going to spend more money on what? Protecting their precinct. Bigger, better guns. Okay? More surveillance. More surveillance. So more, more cameras. More tracking. More tracing. People are gone. Okay. Going. It says, um, neither let him sit at thy right hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to make it. You want to put him on the right hand, like he's one of one of us. Yeah. Okay. He's he like he's righteous. Keep going. Least he seek to take thy seat. Yes, yeah. Keep going. And thou at the last remember my words and be quick therewith. Yeah. Now you now you're gonna remember what the Most High told you. Most High told you never trust thine enemy. Uh, he's okay. That's a good. Thing. He earned the spot. He helped me out. Yeah, he different. He could be a Jake. Okay, Jake wasn't thinking like that. But he was like, that's just a heat of mine. Yeah. I'm with him. I'm like, he's a good one. Okay. Keep going. Who, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? And then that's what happened to the Aztecs. That's what happened to the Incas. Yep, yep. That's what happened to uh, uh, the North American Indians. All right? You, you try to cut a deal with Esau. I mean, he, they ain't going to say you sold him Manhattan for some beads. That's some bullshit, man. And then, and then, and then, Gad was over there trying to fight. They, they was with the Confederates to fight the Union, and they still kicked your ass out, man. And then you're over here fighting with the British to take down the colonies in the Revolutionary War. Yeah, a lot of those uh, uh, the Iroquois. The, the, that was the first Confederacy. Where do you think the word Confederacy came from, man? Those Edomites took it from Gad. Gad got a bunch of tribes, got together, and set up a Confederacy, right? You had the civilized tribe, they set up the Confederacy, but then you had the, the Confederacy of those tribes up in the New York area, okay? The airport, you know, in that Quebec area, the northern, northern part of America. They were what? Fighting Edomites. Well, they go back to when you pilgrims first came over. And what happened with that? Plymouth Rock. Right? Dad went open hands, fucking helped your ass survive a winter. You go in and exterminated them. Well, Jamestown, that was another one. Jamestown, that place got burned down, got destroyed multiple times. Yet Gad kept helping them bring them back, allowed them to come back. 
And maybe they'll be right this time. Maybe they won't kill us. Maybe they learn. Maybe it's okay, hard okay. for the white man to learn. But then, then once Gad's in, and then he's in the military uh, uh, internment camp, now he wants to say this guy's the devil. Now you shouldn't trust him. Well, that's what that's the word pricking you. Okay. Keep going. It says, uh, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Yeah, that's why like when we see these people that were part of Black Lives Matter movement and they drop dead, you know, like, you can't pity them. Well, that's why a lot of our people aren't protesting for them, man. They don't protest and, and, and lose their shit for George Floyd, right? Or Freddie Gray, or Oscar Grant, right? All because they've seen the image over and over again and it keeps getting pushed yep. over and over again and they feel that. But these other people that drop dead, no one gives a shit about them. Like all these little Jake kids that get Stop. shot up in the street, man. All these Jake kids that get, that get killed. Your baby's in a crib. And they shoot up grandma's house and then who did who they end up killing? The baby in the crib, man. Ain't nobody hit the streets for that, baby. Right. Yeah. No one, ain't nobody hit the streets. There's no outrage for that. Where's the Black Lives Matter when it comes to that, man? Yeah. Where are they not in Chicago at the, uh, the Apostle Paul was getting, going hard on you niggas, you know? Uh, a couple weekends ago, it was like 100 shootings. Uh -huh. You know, a couple of deaths, one of them including a, a, a child, you know, a Jake child. Where was, it was no outcry. You hear a peep from, from BLM, you know? <laughs> that, that ghetto gagger, uh, <laughs> Candace Owens, right? I was watching her go in gets talking to this guy Mark Lamont Hill, you know who that is, right? So. Mark Lamont Hill, he's a, a, a left-wing talking head, a Jake, on CNN. A real piece of shit. He got flamed by her. He got flamed by her. He, that's what she said. Like, I'm just telling you that black people are hypocrites. Yep, yep. She's just saying straight up. There's hypocrisy amongst the black community. I'm saying it like it is. But she's a coon for saying it. Right? But when she's, yeah, she is a coon. Yeah. Not for but, that reason. Though. But yeah, not for yeah, that. Yeah. Not for saying that. Right. She can fool for other reasons. Man. That what she says. But see, that's, no! why, that's why they set it up like that. They set it up. Well, I think J. Edgar Hoover said that in a, a, a FBI director. He said, this is what we got to do to all black leaders. If a black leader comes up, we got to discredit them. Not to the white community, but to the black community. <laughs> so the, your first thing is, that's cool. So that guy's a scam artist. Well, this guy's that. Right? So anytime... So you, and if you think of Louis Farrakhan or, or Al Sharpton, you know with those guys. Those guys are scammers, they're, 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 they're scheming their thing where they ain't really about it, right? Or Candace Owens, oh, she's just a cool, she's just a, a black woman, in, a white woman in a black woman's body, right? So that's what the, that's, they, so they, it's all set up anyways, just like that going back to that devil, J. Edgar Hoover, man. But this is not a, but the white man's not a racist. That guy was a bigot. He, first of all, he was a full-blown homosexual. Okay, a full-blown homosexual. Yeah, he hated faggots. That's Esau for you. Man. He was a he was a homosexual, but he hated homosexuals. That's the so-called white man for you. Okay, and then and then he was behind all the assassinations of Martin Luther King. Okay, Malcolm X, right? Uh, Bobby Seale, all these guys. Uh, th th that's just the Jake leaders. What about the the black and, la and the Latino and the Native American leaders he put to death or put in federal prison? Okay. But see, if you want to trust this guy, it's going to prick you at the end. A little bit more on that? Yeah, I, I do a little. Uh, more, more. It says, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity him? Yeah, and that's Esau. He's the ultimate sinner. Because he over here, he over here, he brought this book. He brought this book to the new world. He brought this book, he brought Jesus Christ to the new world, the civilized. He called it, he took it upon himself yeah. and said, it's my burden. It's the white man's burden. Okay, well, how's your burden going? And then Esau's mad. He, he, he made a burden, but they're over there in Britain. He's mad about how there's nothing but niggas in his in his in his country now. Well, now, you took it upon yourself to do better, right? You want to make the world a better place. You want them to be like the British now? Yeah. They're over there in your country, drinking tea, eating crumpets, and speaking in an accent. Yes, that's, that's not good. Yeah, I think that. Or just civilize the savages. Yeah. Yeah, but now that they're in your country and now they're they're doing they're working jobs like you, they're they're they're, they're going to the schools yeah, like they you. They're going to quote civilize. Now you mad. But now you want them to go back <laughs> to the jungle. Be savages. <laughs> this, this this is the guy we're dealing with, man. This is Esau. This is Esau Edom. This is the devil the Bible speaks of, man. Right. This is the shit we gotta deal with here in Babylon, man. That's why.
we know we have to end this thing. This guy's running out of time. He's gonna have to push his RP market chip. And he's pushing at an all-time high right now. Any more than that? Yeah, that's good. So Psalm chapter 36, verse 1. The, uh -huh. the transgression of the wicked said within it was said within my heart that there is no fear of, of Yahweh before his eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Babak Shah read it from the top again, Babak Shah. Psalms chapter 36, verse 1. The transgression, transgressions of the wicked said within my heart, there is that there is no fear of the most high before his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This he, he saw. That's why he he treats us the way he treats us, man. Yes. These can't be God's children. Look at me. That's why I live. You had no fear, man, coming over here and treating the Israelites the way you did. Mm -hmm. You weren't thinking about the... Here, you had the book. You had the Lord's word with you, man. And you still were whipping us. Duh. You would actually hold it in your left hand. Yeah. Hold it next to your chest and hit us with the whip, man. Or you quote scriptures at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. How many lashes in the scriptures? Let's put it on. Says, for he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. That's Esau, man. He flattereth himself in his own eyes. He thinks he's God. Okay? Until what? It says, for he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Yeah. His iniquity is found to be hateful. You're the fucking hate person. You're the hate group. Okay? Yeah. A nation of hate. A nation. A nation of hate. Do they want to say we're a hate group. We're full of hate. You're the nation of hate. Esau, Edom, so-called white man. Everything you've done, your whole system, this whole society is based upon hate. Okay? Well, now it's love, though, right? Because, oh, well, see, as soon as July ended, they took down the gay flag. Good. Good. Good, man. But America, that, that flag represents what? Hate. Yeah, yes. Okay? Well, the Star Spangled Banner, who, who wrote that? Someone that was full of hate. Okay? Slave on, okay. He's gone, and then the whole thing about the the black uh, uh, the, the black national anthem, right? They actually had a black national anthem and a white national anthem, right? Mm -hmm. I, I did more research on that. I had no idea about it. And then Jake, that grew up in the segregated South, said they weren't allowed to say the actual national anthem, so they were they had to do the black national anthem at, at school. That's what they did. So, every, that's how super segregated it was that Jake had their own bit of it. But then Esau integrated it, and now we're all under one, one guy. Yeah. Well, the Declaration of uh, Independence, that damn devil, was it, uh, Andrew Jackson, he wrote that. But he put a clause in Tom, there. Uh, Declaration of Independence, uh, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, that devil. I get them mixed up sometimes. Me too, yeah, me, yeah, too. me too, me too. They the same devil. We're both sick of <laughs> both <laughs> sickles. <laughs> But uh, he, he wrote that, that Declaration of Independence, and in that is an actual uh, clause of him getting on uh, gag, calling them savages. Mm -hmm. Which they don't they don't tell you about that in school, man. I was looking that up, you know, I did a, a show recently. But that nigga put that in there, these savage Indians. He, he said that King George III, one of the reasons for him <laughs> wanting to get gain independence from Britain was because King George III was pitting these savage Indians against them, man, against yeah. the colonies, yeah. to destroy them. He was paying them off. Yeah, yeah because they would, they would do deals with the British, because the British didn't want to trade with the Americans because they ran the price up. They you know, we got to trade with Gad because they got the good furs. Okay, they got they know they got petroleum and stuff like that. They, the, Gad had their own trade routes. Esau and America like, now nah, we want to get, we want that. They wanted that, man. And then not only that, the Thomas Jefferson said that, and I believe his ugly ass face is on that Mount Rushmore too. Yep, it is. That, and he, not only that, he's a slave owner and a rapist. Look, if you're a slave owner, you're a rapist. Yeah. Okay? And he had all kinds of uh, uh, terrorists underneath him. And not only that, the other devil that's on that piece of shit uh, mountain, Mount Rushmore, George Washington, right? George Washington had fake teeth. But they say they say they were wooden teeth. Nope. They were slave teeth. Okay? They, they try to they try to etch that out, man. He actually takes slaves' teeth to make dentures out of slaves' teeth. He chewed on so much tobacco, he lost all his teeth. You damn devil! And then uh, 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 Teddy Roosevelt, he was a hardcore racist, man. But uh, Esau tries to uh, Tucker Carlson. I was listening to that guy. He said Teddy Roosevelt was the, had the most moral of any president. 
Because he let Booker T. Washington go into the uh, White House. What's up? He called him an end after he left. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he called him an end. Well, he called everybody ends. And then the, he put a statue of himself in front of, I believe, uh, the Museum of, uh, of uh, something art in, 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 in uh, New York City. His red ass on a horse, and there's Gad looking through, and Judah on the other side looking through. That's literally this. That's literally the script. Okay, I've seen I've seen uh, servants on horses. Okay, and that and that's literally what, what that is. And they want to take that down now. Why? Because that's a racist ass statue. Uh, no, this is just uh, the little oh, excerpt. One, and one last one. While Mount uh, finish off the Mount Rushmore. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, right? Who could have been a Jake or mixed with some Jake, right? Because they they're breaking it down. They said that he wore that top hat because his hair was real curly. People would kind of look at him the type of way every now and then, right? But he did the largest execution of Native Americans of any uh, president. Man. There was a lot of massacres and stuff that happened, but none of it was like a direct order execution. Like, this is the prisoner, we're going to kill him. I think he had over 40 uh, Lakota warriors uh, lynched, pretty much, put on the gallows, hung, put to death. Okay, he didn't, he didn't put him in jail, okay? He, he, he didn't hold him, he didn't let him return the land. No, he killed them all, he hung them all. Okay? That's Abraham Lincoln for you, the Indian film. Go ahead. This is uh, Thomas Jefferson's quote from the uh, Declaration of Independence. Uh, let me just read this part real quick. It said, the Declaration of Independence is structured in three parts. The introduction, the complaints, and the conclusion. The complaints are indictments, if you prefer. Take the form of 13. He has nine, four, and another five he has. And it is the, it is the last he has that concerns us because it's a doozy. This is what uh, Thomas Jefferson wrote. He has, talking about King George III, he has excited domestic insurrections amongst us and has endeavored to bring on the inhabitants of our frontiers, the merciless Indian savages whose known rule of warfare is an undistinguished destruction of all ages, sexes, and conditions. So that's what they had to do. Back then, it was the, the Indians. They, they were savages. They, 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 they want to kill us for our freedom. Mm -hmm. Now it's the terrorists, right? Yeah. Back then, that, that's what, that was the face of terrorism. Man. The people that were living there before your red ass came. Sickos. Then you would go murder, get, then get a retaliation so that they want to kill all of yeah. us. You know? or, or you would just put your fucking cabin right in the middle of their land, man. And then do some sicko shit over there. Do you wonder why a gad will burn it down and kill your ass? You don't belong there, devil. Well, they made a deal, right? You ain't supposed to go past the Appalachians. Them devils went over any damn ways, man. Bringing what? Disease. Uh, kidnapping the woman, selling her in the sex slave. And why? And their, and their, uh, their the philosophy. Yep, bringing that. That's the main one they brought. That wine and that philosophy and the actual wine, too. And we used to give them that bottle. Okay. Any last scriptures? Finish this up. Psalms 36 and 3. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Mm -hmm. Yep. He have left. Well, uh, there you go. We just read the uh, 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 excerpt out of the Decora Declaration of Independence. And read that last part again. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Iniquity and deceit. Yeah, that was a lie. And it was a complete sham. Yeah. It was wickedness, too. It was evil. That's slander. Or it talks about the slander that this man has brought up against the nation of Israel in uh, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Yep. He said they're, they're uh, uh, basically their customs is, is warfare. They're known for warfare. That's all they do. They're savages. And, they're, and they kill indiscriminately. Nigga, that's what you do. That's, yeah. your, that's literally your MO. Like you, you, spare, you spare nobody. He said they don't spare sexes. They don't spare ages. And they don't spare conditions. So no matter what condition you in, Gad gonna put you to death. That's just how they are. They're savages, see? But see, when we execute warfare, we'll spare your, the children. Women you know, the elderly. women will spare them. If there's somebody that's uh, uh, sickly or they got a disease, we won't put them to death. That's cruel. The most I said, you didn't show the elderly any mercy, man. Damn devil. Well, look at that wounded knee. You aired that place out, man. Right? And there was nothing but elderly and, and, and women and children up in there. Well, the kids that 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 uh that hid, that didn't get destroyed, you know, they told the, the, the women and the children to hide. They put in a boarding school, man. But even before, after that, before that, he said, look, come out. I ain't going to kill y'all. 
Everything's done. He, he was done with the gathering. He said, y'all can come out. I ain't going to kill y'all. And then what happened when they came out? Or they hiding place? He, he uh, uh, started the Gatling gun back up, man. Yep. And another thing he did, I think uh, there was a baby that they saved from that massacre. And they put that baby, they, they, they raped that baby all the way through its whole life, man. They took that baby to the East Coast. Look, we, we civilized a native girl. But what are they, they just raped her to death, man. She died in her, in her late teens. Because that's what you were doing to Gadite children back then, man. These sickos. So it says, He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He deceiveth mischief upon his bed. He sitteth, he says, He set of himself in a in a way that is not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way of America, right? That's a way that is not good. The American way, right? They call it, Do we're doing it the American way. Well, there you go. Keep going. He abhorreth not evil. Mm. See? You embrace it. You, you you live off the lie, man. The big lie, they call it. That, that's a fallacy. The big lie. You say a lie so many times, it becomes the truth. And that's what you did with so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, and you continue with this day. That's why you got our people running around saying black lives matter. Like, that means something. Man. It don't mean shit. Like, none of us are black. None of us are Indian. None of us are Mexican. Okay? Or so on and so forth. Those are all bywords and, by, and, 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 and names put on us by our captives, by our captors, who we are captive to, the so-called white man, Esau. Right? He's not a white man either. He's an Edomite, okay? And we're the Israelites. That's what it is. Man. That's part of the prophecy. That's part of this great awakening we're coming to. The Hebrew Israelites are waking up the so-called blacks and Native Americans. But so we're not going to take your mandatory vaccination. We're not going to take your mandatory chip. Right? We're not going to fall for this, this your bullshit. We're not going to think everything's going to be all good, man. It's going to get worse. This place, this place is on a downward spiral, man. Just wait till the World War III starts picking up, man. It's going to be real hot out here. Any last words, Akim? With that, we're going to give all praise, glory, and honor. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha, Kodash. Shalom.